I'm going to do the setup. Hi, everybody. Who is live? We are. I don't know why I'm singing, but uh, I mean, they can hear me. They can't hear you guys. So you guys are free to talk. Yeah, I'm about to post. I'm about to post in uh, studio announcements that we're live. Yep, yep, yep. You scratch your toe, lady. You you scratch your toe. I'm sure anybody that's watching live right now is very, very confused. And they're like, what do you mean scratch your toe? What the fuck is going on? Because they can only hear me. They can only hear me talking right now. Sup, Blue Gamer? I decided not to do an intro that I'm going to have to cut like the first nine minutes out of. It just seemed really dumb. So, uh, so yeah, you guys are just hearing me. You're not hearing everyone else because I'm an asshole like that. Uh, uh, let's see. Okay. Uh, I'm going to send this. I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so now, now, uh, the profanity filter is on at least for YouTube. So you could say all the horrible shit you want to, and we won't get demonetized. I say that and Fell just immediately responds with the most benign thing ever. Woohoo, yeah. I mean... Yeah, yeah, alright. So this is... I, I essentially consider this like the beginning of Critical Role, where you guys are just, like, instead of trying to make Matt Mercer laugh, you're trying to make me, like, crack while I'm trying to do this. So go ahead, go ahead. See what, see what horrible shit you can say while you're not mic'd live. Mm -hmm. See what see what fucked up stuff you guys can say to trip me up while I'm trying to type this up. Uh, I mean, you really shouldn't you really shouldn't talk about New York Comic Con right now. Just saying. Uh, because. Well, first off, well, no, I mean it's it's stuff that I'd rather you save for uh next week. Anime and stuff. Anime. I mean, Walker, you'll be there to hear it live anyway. Why are you moping? <laughs> like, it wasn't like that. All right, just to clarify, just to clarify, everybody, what happened was Fel was like, oh, oh, let me talk about New York Comic Con. And I was like, no, you shouldn't do that. You know, save it for anime and stuff. And what does Walker do? Okay. I'm like, God damn it. You guys. You guys. You guys. It's New York Comic Con. Of course it is. The the only Comic Con that ha that is probably worse than it is San Diego. Like I've been to NYCC, bro. Like no joke. Uh yeah, I I was aware. That's why I was like, "Oh, by the way, heads up, Javits has barely any service at all because the building, they they constructed the building to block out uh public Wi-Fi." to make you buy their internet service. It's all a Ponzi scheme. Welcome to New York where gangsters prevail. All right. Uh, all right. So we're about to go live on y'all's end. I'm going to go ahead and do the quick uh, announcements intros. Okay. So for those that don't know, hi, welcome to D and D or dungeon or yeah. Dungeons and demon slayer D and DS. I like that one better. I don't know. <laughs> Dungeons and Demon Slayer. It's what I named it when I was re working on this and renaming everything. So that's what it is. <laughs> because I'm the one that is currently connected to the channel. So, yeah, I have the power. Not really. But, okay. Uh, the important stuff to get out of the way. We have uh, AWA coming up at the end of the month. If you guys are going to be in Atlanta, we hope that we see you there. We are going to be putting the schedule together. There is no ETA on the website. Please do not ask me about it. We're going to be focusing on D&D. &D. If, uh, if you want to know where the abridged stuff is, uh, it's still on this channel. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, 
So, uh, updates about the website. We will try and keep you up to date on it. Uh, please hit us up on Discord for that information. Should be, should be uh, in the description below, I believe. If not, I'll put it there. Don't worry. Don't panic. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Akatsuki, the, uh, Lennon, the voice of our Akatsuki, uh, needs help with her AWA badge because bills hit hard and there were no discounts. Uh, we learned some stuff this week and I'm not going to go into it. But essentially, uh, you know, one of the panels didn't get approved and then some other stuff. Uh, you have not been banned. You just pyro. You just posted too many uh, characters and caps. And we have a limit on the amount of caps you can use. So probably best not to do caps in full sentences. So that's that's what it is. Uh, may, also, just stop being a Dave. That's a good way to just not get banned. All right. Um, uh, so we're trying to raise money for that. We do have alerts up, but we took all of the sound down for set alerts. So I'm sorry. We're not going to be interrupting the game to say thank you to or hello to everybody that subs or that donates. We'll try and do some of that at the end of the episode. Like, we'll just say, hey, thank you. Uh, so there we go, guys. Uh, that is basically it at the moment. Uh, we don't have any other announcements outside of that. Quick updates on Abridged, since those were brought up. Uh, as soon as the website is live, Slime Episode 2 will go up. We will have a video going up on the channel. Thank you very much, Justin. Appreciate it. Uh, no. Uh, the, it, yes, yes and no. I'll talk to Tony. It'll go to it. it like, all, all money, regardless, w whether it's donated or super chatted, I will make sure, uh, that... Tony can send it to who it needs to go to. But generally the best way, the fastest way is to do the donation instead of doing the um, super chat. Yeah. Cause super chat gets to us much later and we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out anyway. <sighs> okay. Uh, slime episode two will go up as soon as the website is live and we will post a video linking to it since Copyright doesn't like letting us use that here on YouTube. YouTube copyright is being, well, it's being misused. That's the best way to put it. Uh, people seem to be very predatory uh, and abusing the copyright system. Uh, outside of that, Log Horizon Abridged, Episode 8 is currently uh, under edits full. And uh, One Piece Episode 2 is on the final stages of edits right now. Those are your updates on the abridged. All right, now that I've gotten all that stuff out of the way, let's move on. Let's move on to the actual D and D campaign. I'm gonna hand things over to our DM Walker, aka Krusty, uh, and uh, yeah, things will take over. Please remind me though, Walker, after the stream ends, to stay on and tell you about an idea that we had for Krusty that you're gonna really like. Remember that if I don't, the chat certainly will. Well, I mean, it's after the stream, <laughs> but yeah, I, I I mean, they're not going to get to know. I'm not I don't know, you. but they'll still probably just be like, hey, Krusty, don't forget your, your shit. And I'll be like, oh, yeah. That's, All that's right, everybody, gonna, yeah. remind him, remind him not to forget about Krusty at the end. <laughs> don't forget about Krusty at the end. I was if talking do, to the I chat, will... not you. Hey, 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 you didn't say when. Yeah. <laughs> I also <laughs> didn't. <laughs> I also didn't say you. So there. Uh, Ooh. Yeah, send him multiple tweets. Uh, send him multiple tweets. Yeah. yeah. Just send him multiple tweets. <laughs> At Ruby card. <laughs> Ruby so, underscore card. I'm just, before I go ahead and get into the recap, I'm going to go ahead and just cover a few questions that we've been getting. Uh, the first and, and probably the biggest question, is this a D&D &D campaign? Uh, the easiest answer to that is, uh, yes. it's a hybrid. <laughs> That's the easiest answer to it is, it's a hybrid. So yes. Uh, the other question we've been getting regarding just like, does this take place in the world of Demon Slayer? Yes, it's an alternate universe. Okay, hold on a second, Fel. You don't have to post the Streamlabs link. Not only is it down in the God description, it, not only is it Shit. down in the description, was... 
Nightbot also posts it in the chat. Fell, you had one job, and look what you did. Already <laughs> messing up. Look at yeah, Fell. Your fell, one job was to do nothing. Fell, you fell, failed. you filled up the comments, man. Come on. Thanks. Good I, job, Fell. Hey, Excellent. Hey, 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 hey. I'm jet lagged. Your intentions, your intentions were good, but I got this. Um, back to you, so Walker. So moving on to the yeah, moving on to the recap since I pretty much covered the questions that we actually have gotten about the show. Um. <clears throat> In our last session, the party comprised of Atsuko Tenryu, played by Lady Chen, uh, Daisuke Hamasake, played by Fel the VA, uh, Kazu Tenshi, played by Vex24, uh, or Vexital24, sorry, I didn't use the full name, that's my that's on me, uh, Reikoku Akino, played by the Hawk of Ridge, who is currently not with us at the moment, and God, I'm, Hikaru Fujiwara, played by Richie Roberts. One of these days we'll remember everyone's names, this is still new. Uh, attended the final selection for the Demon Slayer Core. Uh, now, the Demon Slayer Core hosts this final selection uh, about twice annually to gather new members into their ranks in order to fill out uh, the generations with stronger swordsmen and talents of all varieties. This year, the group had three objectives. The first objective would be to survive seven days and nights in the forest up atop, the Mount, up atop Mount Fuji. Uh, the second objective would be to find somewhere within these woods uh, ruins or relics pertaining to previous generations of demon slayers or information regarding demons in general. And the final objective would be to cooperate in order to ensure survival. Uh, currently, the gr they split off into various groups with the with, with team protagonist, also known as Team Cinnamon Bun. Uh, teaming up uh because they kind of looked around and were like oh my god look at all these red shirts so many people are going to die <laughs> uh and teamed up making it through the forest they faced their first demon encounter a set of demons that were uh vying for territory on a bridge and after a couple of days surviving in the woods they were able to reach uh a location that may have contained their second objective. Hikaru uh, scouted it out and was able to determine that there was no present danger. Uh, and when the gang reconvened, they were able to search the cabin and find uh, a variety of different historical heirlooms and relics, as well as scrolls containing information regarding demons. This seems to be the checkpoint for their second objective. We now resume as they are within the fifth day of their trial, uh, settling into the cabin. Uh, we now pick up with the party. Woohoo, Cinnamon Bun. Go team Cinnamon Bun. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Thanks guys <laughs> for giving us this the name. Team Cinnamon it's Bun. Uh okay. Hashtag uh Team Cinnamon Bun on Twitter. Team Cinnamon Bun. Hashtag Team Cinnamon Bun. I like that there's a hashtag for this now. Uh quick update before we get started. Holy shit. Uh just off of uh just off of the uh, money that was sent in from Super Chat and the notification that I got that uh, money was directly sent uh, to the Fat Talk account. We have reached our goal. Akatsuki Woo! now has our badge. Woo! So you're welcome, Akatsuki Demon Slayers. Woo! Thank you, one and all. <laughs> thank you, thank you, one and all. And again, thank you to our executive producer, Salty Rick, for just throwing that money out at it. Jesus the Christ, yeah. Salty Rick. I mean, we're all going to see him. He's hanging out with us. He's a fat dog. He's an executive Hell producer. Yeah, he yeah. Is. yeah. Yeah. So he'll be at AWA. We get to actually pat him on the back. And he brought gifts from Japan for, for us. How cool is that? Yeah. I mean, not for everybody because not everybody Aww. like responded in time. I, I, yeah, uh, that's fine. I tried. <laughs> His his presence will be gift enough. I mean, to be to be fair, there are some people in the audience that whoever wins the there's a Rimuru, there's a Rimuru uh figure, like a legit high quality tall Rimuru figure that uh, whoever wins it, I'm beating them up and taking it from them. <laughs> oh my Richie, gosh! No, Richie, no, I will. It's a good you thing. I'm Vegeta, not going. yes. Richie, no. <laughs> Richie, yes. <laughs> 
I will help you. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, no. Only oh. if I only everyone, if I can everyone get who a, a nice goblin dad. Hold on, me. hold on. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Anyone who helps me, it is considered a timeshare with that person. <laughs> oh no! Yes, actually, I saw. It will uh, be. Amira. It will be the statue. It will be the. It will be the figure that that gets transported all over the country because somehow, <laughs> some way, it's gonna end up in a different person's home each time. <laughs> it's gonna be like the dick trophy. It's a timeshare between Tony and I, apparently. Oh. Uh. Speaking, speaking. Oh, of which that, uh, speaking of speaking of, yes, you will all get a chance to see and touch the dick trophy. Oh God! You must. Congratulations, I, you guys are a year late. Yeah, Walker. I mean, an adult. Walker, you must uh, you must stroke <laughs> the trophy. We are adults. Yeah. But what if I don't? What I've if seen I the trophy. trophy. I haven't touched the trophy. No, oh, well, there you go. I mean, that is that is also true. Yeah, you were there when we had to pick it up, which was just the weirdest. Anyway, back to Cinnamon Bun. The adventure continues. Okay. I just had to make those updates real quick because now I have to remove the... Yeah. Okay. Now, now we can actually focus on uh, the game. Yeah. All right. So, uh, setting the tone with a little ambiance... No, not you, ambiance playlist. We need night ambiance. Mm. Yes. Ooh. Oh, my. Uh, as you all kind of look around this decrepit uh, shack, it is full of a variety of items. There are uh, shattered blades from previous generations of Demon Slayers, some that uh, have forging processes that you haven't even seen uh, regarding like the current level of blades. I'm going to go ahead and turn that down a little bit. That's a little too loud in my ears. Um, there are scrolls uh, that have names of specific clans uh, that are known as Demon Slayers. Uh, some of you can see uh such as the Rin Goku clan uh you see as well there is a series of scrolls from the Uzui clan of uh, Shinobi uh as well as uh one catches your eye Atsuko there is one that actually bears the sigil of the Tenryu clan um in addition to this there are a variety of different um books on demon physiology on uh history on medicinal practices by the butterfly estate um there's just a wide variety of items in this uh shack almost too many to choose from what is this stuff doing in here um wow it's it's incredible with all this stuff um incredible don't you mean impressive I'm sorry, just seeing all this... Ah, oh, the history and everything. Is this the artifacts we're supposed to be grabbing? I'm not sure. Uh, I will proceed to go over and take a look at one of the... the uh, books, maybe see... Uh, can I make a perception check or investigation? Uh, this would be... Mm. I guess the first thing you would do is uh, just roll a quick Arcana check just to find one that appeals to your interests. Okay. So okay. Uh, you look around and there's not really anything that necessarily catches your eye um, with exception of a scroll that is uh, specifically emblazoned with these uh, patterns look like flowing waves. It looks like it might be um, a scroll related to water breathing styles. Hmm. Uh, can I proceed to pick it up and look at it? Yeah, you can pick it up and look at it. Yeah. Uh, as you unfurl the scroll, taking it, uh, taking the off of it and rolling it out uh, you realize that this is a official manuscript of the uh, breathing forms uh, with illustration you can see um, 
descriptions on how to best focus uh, your blood through your body when using the breathing, uh, to what parts you should send it uh, for specific slashes, um, how you are supposed to posture yourself for each strike, uh, as well as the inevitable, like, the way that the motion of the blade is supposed to carry through with your body's momentum. Wow, incredible. Guys, take a look at this. Uh, he'll hand it to, uh, who's... Anyone want to take a look at this? This is incredible. I'll take a look at it. Yeah, Ray Koku seems kind of involved in his own search through uh, the objects here. Yeah. Everyone's so <laughs> here. Die. Let me see it. Sure. I, I'm I'm warming my toesies by the fire. You said there was like a, <laughs> some sort of a fireplace in here. Or there is a fireplace uh, over by where Ray Koku was. He has since moved over here to the darkest part of the room. Naturally. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but there is a fire, uh, right over here where you can actually, uh, warm yourself by it. And there's actually, uh, some logs laying about nearby where you can, uh, throw them into the fire and, and kind of flare it up. It's, it's not, like, dead, but it is, uh, a low flame, so if you wanted to pick it back up, you could just kindle it a bit. That sounds like a good idea. I'll do that. All right. Uh, as you begin kindling the fire, you know, it kind of illuminates the room a little bit more, uh, allowing everyone to kind of see better. Um, so now anyone who does an arcana or a investigation check of the room will have advantage. Uh, I will investigate the... Can I, can, can I investigate the Tenryu books? Uh, yes, you can investigate the uh, Tenryu scroll. So. You said the light, you said him kindling the fire made the light brighter, right? Yes, it brightened up the room so you can see better. And. Rokoku <laughs> be going further back into the darkness. He is. He's kind of like retreating further towards the bookshelves, just shrinking into the darkness. Um, intently looking around, trying to find something that he would think would be uh, a worthy relic. Uh, and Atsuko, with your 11, you are able to find the scroll rather easily, um, despite the kind of disorganized mess that is this cabin. Um, and kind of undoing the seal on the scroll, uh, you find that it's less of like a manuscript and more of a historical account. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, reading through it, I'm actually going to have to pull that up. One second. There we go. Um, all right. As you unfurl the scroll and kind of read through the historical account, it goes over, um, the specifics of an encounter with one of the upper Kizuki. Uh, at the <coughs> time, the scroll marks them as Upper Moon 4. Uh, and it reads as follows. Uh, we chased the target into the mountains today. It did not go well for me and my compatriots. The demon seems to have the ability to Anytime we rest, stop for even an instant, it catches us in its blood demon art. It. I've seen too many of my comrades fall asleep and never wake up. They. I try to rise them, to rouse them, to, to get them back on the battlefield, but at this point, I wonder if this hunt is even worth the lives of the rest of my men. At sunrise tomorrow, I will descend the mountain, but for now I'm just so tired. And the account kind of trails off. So tired. Who could have done this? 
Okay, can we lower the volume on the music a little bit? Because it's a little hard yeah. to hear her. Yeah, yeah. I don't know why it suddenly picked up again. Also, like, also it just went, it went from that to Arabian, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I know, right? I was like, huh. I was thrown <laughs> off a little bit by that. Yeah. yeah. It, I, I don't know why. It picked up again. I dropped the master volume again. So. Sorry. I can't tell if it's the volume is down or not. It, it still sounds louder on my end. I'm going to turn it down on my end, just in case. The weird thing is, I did turn it down on my end. It's still picked it's, up. It's yeah. Okay, here's what we're gonna do then. We're just going to to drop the audio on every soundtrack individually. Okay. On oh, no, top of the master. It. Uh... It's fine. It's sorry, it's gone. Sorry, sorry, guys, for the audio problems. Music's dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, roll 20 for whatever reason decided not to have any of these uh, it's because, leveled. It's because people. the moon's haunted. That's what it really is. It all boils yeah, down to I, the moon is haunted. God all damn right. it, Reggie. Let's just, blame this, let's just blame this on Fel and move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, the upper moon is haunted. I, I, forgot, I forgot it was Lady Chin, queen of burning <laughs> Fel. <laughs> whatever we play, somehow... Uh, Lady anyway. Chan is a demon slayer in her own right. She she studies the breath of burning fell. <laughs> <laughs> what? Watch. I mean, I mean, when you when you are an adept wielder of the breath of flames, <laughs> your roasting power is unmatched. <laughs> Nobody can defeat me. Okay, again, I'm just absent. I'm just absent-mindedly while everybody else is doing like their their research. I'm just sitting there poking away at the fire, just trying to keep it stoked. You know, warming my warming my toesies, warming my hands. You know, warm warm hands move better than cold hands. That's all I'm saying. It's true facts. True facts, man. True facts about the Demon Slayer. Instead of relaxing, can't we just, you know, investigate the rest of the books and scrolls? <laughs> Is she looking at my character when she say that? Like, I'm no. not relaxing. I'm keeping the fire going, yo. Well, it does seem like you're relaxing. Okay, first off, my name is not Fel. Secondly... <laughs> I, mean, I, I tried to get... Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> completely out of character. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm just looking. I, I, I don't think she's talking to me, so I'm just I'm keeping poking the fire, and then I eventually. Wait, what? Are you talking to me? Wait. Huh? Yeah. And, and, just and, 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 and this, the tension is is broken immediately when Ray Koku, when Ray Koku goes yes, and he holds up this this broken blade uh, that is. Unique in its own right, as the the curved outer edge has these chips in it that create kind of a saw-like pattern across the blade. And Reikoku looks at his own sword, looks at the saw blade, looks at his own sword, looks at the saw blade, and you just kind of see this twinkle in his eye. Um, one hundred percent you know it's gay right there. Yeah. <laughs> Reikoku, is everything? As he starts right? looking for rocks. Oh, God damn it! All right, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, no, no, I'm, I mean, all right, have you guys been reading this stuff aloud, or have you been just reading it silently to each other? Well, we can read it to you if you like, but... No, I didn't ask that in character, I asked you guys... I, I was reading it quietly at first. Okay. I mean, I was reading it quietly. So, but I was trying to... Get, but like, if you oh, want hey. us to read it to you... That is yeah. not, I'm not asking for a bedtime story. No, no, no. I just needed Obviously. to know. I just needed to know. I just needed to know if of you guys. Of course, a man like you would do something like that. Anyways, what? Some Kate people Bruce need like, a good bedtime story. Look here. Okay, first off, first off, all of this was OOC, so no. And then secondly, he's just been absentmindedly poking away until you like until you realized, oh shit, are you talking about me? And he was like, and then he's like, no, nah, I'm good. I don't do books. Can you not read? 
I mean, signs and stuff, but no, I don't I do not do books. Those are squiggles on paper. That's not right. I'm going to assume that you can't read a book. Okay. You, you, you go with that. All right, great. Yeah, yeah. A little mean, but, um... It is a little weird that this uh, cabin is out in the middle of the woods for the entry exam. Uh, uh, you do have a point. Out of character, he can read. He just learns by doing rather than reading. There. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I need to stop this before this turns into a grog situation where everybody's like, he's illiterate. No, he can read. It just, it I mean, just doesn't still, stick. He can still <laughs> I'm like, hey, if there's important, okay, back in care. I mean, if there's important information you want to share, great. But don't judge me for keeping a fire going, please. Well, since you ask nicely. I might as well have no choice. No choice? Why do you make it sound like I forced you to do this? I'm not forcing you to do anything. I'm just sitting here stoking a fire. I'm being a good relax, boy. Relax, relax. I, I was just joking. Goodness. <laughs> it didn't sound like you were joking that much. Now there's a very <laughs> hyperventilating and, and like confused <laughs> boy sitting there right at the fire just kind of like <laughs> not sure what to do so this as, is, as this out is, of character i need to hug the cinnamon squad <laughs> so bad like, like i need to, <laughs> just out of out of the uh, just just mumbling to himself as he turns back to the fire i missed a mountain <laughs> technically you're on a mountain but you know my mountain <laughs> my mountain <laughs> Mountain kid doesn't leave his mountain. This is my mountain now. Back off. Uh, I, I claim this you, mountain for me. <laughs> do you want to look around the room and see if you can find anything? Uh, no, I'm keeping my ear out. Just to, I'm basically just like keep, keep my ear out in case anything comes while meditating. I, can, gotcha. I'm going to keep the, the tender scroll. Okay. As like, because there seems like to be more information about what they fought. Okay. And I will I'm... keep... Oh, sorry. Oh, go. Go, go for it. No, no, no. Go. It's okay. Uh, I'm going to keep the scroll of the different breathing techniques, because this is actually really interesting. Since since apparently stoking a fire is not the right thing to do, and apparently seems <laughs> rude, uh, quietly, he's just going to... He's just going to kind of move to the to outside the outside the place and stand at the door and be on guard duty. And he's going to very mopingly move out there, too. Oh, oh, okay. you Watch okay? your step. It's a sad, it's a sad little, it's a sad little trot to the door so he can be the security guy. <laughs> I can, Daichi is looking like, are, are you okay? I, yeah, I'll be go. I, I'll be okay. Can I do an inside check on him? <laughs> you I'm, can do whatever you want. I, I, sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna like continue looking at the scrolls. Uh, Kazu. Yes. Uh, while you are meditating out, uh, Ray Koku is accidentally helping with your meditation because as he is, um, very, very carefully, like, like whereas Inosuke just hammered on his sword at the rock, uh. Reikoku is being very accurate in, in where he chisels these points. Uh, but the chiseling on his blades is so precise and so rhythmic that it creates kind of a backdrop noise that allows you to get deeper in a meditative state. Where's the where's the door? Is it up the is it at the top of the map of this? Uh, house? it is, is this, down is here. Like Kazu, where Kazu is standing is where like, the front door is. Is the door right here? Yeah, more like this. Like door. Doors. Lady standing in front of the other door. There's two doors. Okay, well, we're we're outside like bouncers right now, and I'm not even gonna fight your role. Uh, I'm gonna be okay. I'm just using my empathy because I just want to make sure. You... I'm I'm gonna um, be okay. I'm gonna be okay. Okay. 
Uh, can I do a perception check again in the room just to see if there's anything else out of place or anything? I will also, oh, after fell, I will also make a perception check. I mean, you can do it at the same time. Rolls oh, don't discriminate. Yeah. Oh, that's true, that's true. I do not. You uh, find nothing! It's a room full of old shit! You know what? I'm gonna try one more time. <laughs> Second time's the charm. It's really not, though. Second look, same as the first. Like I said, it, it seems to be that there is no uh, organized... <laughs> uh, it's a disorganized mess. It's just I'm, I'm, the I'm gonna items trying. and relics are strewn about. Um, you are lucky that you guys were able to find what you did. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna... Can I, can I glance in for a second at what they're looking at? Like, yeah, you I can. See them, you can. I see uh, them looking around. Okay, um, I, <laughs> I glance in. Uh, where is perception, by the way? It would be under character sheet. Yes, uh, character sheet. Yes, skills. skills. That's what I was asking about. I know how to get yeah, to the character sheet. I like just third, gets really frustrated. Third down on the right. She's getting really frustrated just looking. She's like, third time's the charm. Okay. What did I roll? I rolled an eight. Not okay, so, great. I mean, to be fair, to be fair, I was looking. I just looked over. Oh, I didn't roll a two. I only have a. I don't have you any bonuses. A one. a one. Yeah, the red box means that the roll was a one. Yeah, it was. Oh, it was oh. One plus your modifiers. Oh, see, that's, that's actually the, pretty nice. If the roll yeah. is green, it means it was a natural twenty. So I looked. So I looked in and poked my eye. <laughs> uh more or less like and it, it it was it's not your good eye like you turned around and since you have no like depth perception because of your uh damaged other eye your damaged other eye gets uh like runs into the doorknob ow ow <laughs> how do you do that take a point of doorknob damage <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> Your greatest you know foe of all. Now that just doors. now that just sounds like that just sounds like the high school game where somebody had to shout doorknob. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm done. I'm done with this. I'm done with this e roller bullshit. I'm going back to real dice. I, I know, <laughs> right? That's what I'm gonna have to do too. Anyway, nice. um, bad people. So, is there anything else that the party wants to do? Well, while you're here. I really want to try looking around with him, but now third time's the charm ain't gonna work either, so... I guess I will, like, look at the, the books that are... the messy books that are on the ground. Okay. So that would be for exception. Uh... Correction, it would be... Since you're actually looking at them physically, like, you're not trying to see if there's anything hidden, this would be investigation. Investigation. Yeah, yeah see, you. it's fucking night and day. I roll an actual d20, 19. <laughs> God damn it. That's Arcana. God darn it. <laughs> investigation, <laughs> right, I'm sorry. Well, oh well, my you God. rolled a 16. <laughs> yeah. How about I'm this? Sorry. How about this? Since Fel's character is helping you, can, he, can she roll with advantage? Uh, if he is providing the help action, yes. Yeah, I will provide the help action. Well, then both, in that both case, both your investigation things. is a nineteen. It wouldn't have mattered, but okay. All right, it's it's still fine. I know. Is is it a perception check to just kind of look around outside to make sure that the coast is clear? Uh, yes. Okay. Um, I will say this since. <clears throat> well. Well, my you eye has kind of sort of recovered from doorknob damage. Yes, your your eye has kind of sort of recovered <clears throat> from from doorknob. Uh, even with a six, I'll go ahead and give this to you. Um, there's nothing going on outside. It's kind of still like you can hear things way off in the distance, like small birds. Um, but you don't like sense any immediate danger. Okay. I'm just gonna stand there and guard the shack, hut, whatever it is, cabin. All right, uh, Atsuko and Daisuke. Um, looking around at the books that are on the floor, um, 
it's it's mostly just seems like journals like they're just journals of different demon slayers uh none of them really stand out to you as far as their names go um one though does catch your eye just because of how decorative the journal is um it is emblazoned with the symbol of a flame uh and has a lot of like kind of gold embroidery around the edges of the paper um this is the journal of takashi rengoku dun 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 uh i will pick it up and uh breathe okay uh, as you pick it up and kind of, like, read through it, um, God, how, how to do this character voice without blowing out my mic? Uh, first turn the game down. Volume. Yeah, I did, I did turn the game down before we started, because I knew that I'd have to do this guy's voice at some point. Um, Okay. As you kind of peel back the the cover, it's almost like the words scream at you oh with like God. how bold these characters are written. It's just um, like this is how much of a personality this guy had. He wrote it in his own laughter. Oh my God! Like on the first page, you open up, you just see, ha 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 ha! Excellent! Another demon slain by the mighty Takichi. Soon, my name shall be known throughout the Rengoku clan. And all shall marvel at my flame-breathing style. You see, it was I who invented the fifth form. Flame. I think it's the fifth form. Fuck. I, I just said that and I didn't even think about it. Uh, I, I guarantee I had it right and I just fucking second-guessed myself. Yep, the fifth form. Flame Tiger. He's like, it is I who invented the fifth form. Flame Tiger. Truly a marvel of slashes. If one must need to show the ferocity of a demon to get a demon to back down, then I shall be that guiding strike. And the rest of the entries kind of go as follows, as the dude more or less just sings his own praises. So I got Suze is just going to look at the book and just raise an eyebrow and just say, huh, loud and obnoxious, while the other one, on the other hand, is just edgy and broody. Okay, then. <laughs> So she like closes the book and she's gonna go head outside and go give it to or tell Rikoku about the book she just found and then just hands it to him. Uh, as you go out there and hand him the book, he just kind of like looks confused and just says, I've already got my relic. And he just kind of shows up the broken blade that he had. You can keep it. He just kind of like gives you like a thumbs up. I'm trying to think oh. of it. Like, this is like the aqua thumbs up, where it's just like a really fucking ridiculous face and a thumbs up. She just looks at him, looks down at the relic, and then slowly takes it from him. And just be like, thanks. He just nods and goes back to his meticulous work. So she's just going to, I guess, stand there and just watch him. Just... He is very carefully making, like, saw-styled blades. Like, these are designed to, uh, after you slash, they kind of can get wedged in the target, and then you can saw to hack through um, flesh. Interesting. Um, does anyone else want to do anything before we move on to the next phase? Can, can we go out of like out of this real quick? Somebody yeah, just OOC. said, somebody just said, if anything just goes wrong, just blame Fell. Thank you, Vexilius. Why? Always what? blame Fell for everything. What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, um, it's not, it's not what you did; it's what you didn't do. <laughs> Exactly. Sure, we'll go with that. Sure. <laughs> Actually, here's a legit one. Can I make her survival check? Uh, hmm. Just to 
kind of like look more carefully at this cabin because it's a little weird the more that I think about it. Like there was already a fire lit. Make a survival check. <clears throat> Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. Okay. Fel. Mm -hmm. With your specific uh, sensory skill, empathy, you can sometimes, in rare situations, uh, pick up kind of the emotions of individuals like just by interacting with something that they have you can kind of get a sense for their personality and kind of uh, a feel for what impression they left on this place mm -hmm. um where once you saw this as kind of like a, a historical archive uh and and kind of it was a bit odd that all this is out here like maybe it was placed by the examiners um, as you kind of move around and carefully touch the bookshelves and the table, uh, and even get a little close to the fireplace, you feel nothing. And not in a sense that there is nothing to detect. It is whatever emotional state the owner of this cabin has, it is devoid of, of love of malice, of... <laughs> at, you just feel an overwhelming sense of apathy. What? I'm... Uh, he sh Daisuke's gonna be, like, kinda, like, unnerved by this, because it's the first time feeling such uh, emotions from someone of, like... Th there's... What? <sighs> Maybe we should uh, start getting out of here. Uh, is I need everyone to make me perception left? checks. What? I need uh, everyone to make me perception checks. Yeah, I'll be the first one to say maybe we should get out of here. Out loud. Well, even I, no, no one's in the cab. <laughs> yeah, that. everybody's outside. Uh, I'll, I'll, say it, I'll say it out loud. I'm sure the doors. I'm sure one of the doors was locked. We also have at least two people who are good at hearing. So yeah. Okay, that's two perception checks. Uh, I'll go ahead and make Rei Kokus. Okay. Uh, Daisuke, Hikaru. You are the only two that notice this. Like, Daisuke, as you open your mouth to say that you all need to get out of here, and uh, Hikaru, as you kind of just sit there gazing outward, but focusing more on your the vibration in the air as, as it kind of, like, comes into contact with your skin, uh, Hikaru, you feel an overwhelming pressure. Oh, shit. Like whatever is coming up the path is stronger than anything you have ever faced. And Daisuke, as you open your mouth, you recognize this is the source of that apathy you were feeling, but it is apathy no longer. You can sense pure bloodlust rage at the thought that someone has intruded upon their domicile. What do you do? Oh, my hand's on my sword already. I'm in a, I'm in a stance. Like I, I'm basically readied up for whatever's coming. Okay. Yeah. Hopefully uh, somebody else notices with, this, but with, like with I go quiet. And with everyone else's stance. perception checks, you all at least see Hikaru tense and get ready for combat. Uh, what about me? <laughs> you don't see this, but I, that's why I said, what do you do? Because yeah. this is the, <clears throat> like, this 
pressure of this presence is absolutely overwhelming. Like, it's not so much so that it, it is stifling your voice, <laughs> but it gives you pause before you speak. I'm it, mean, like, because of the pressure, and um, I think because I have the empathy, would I feel the same malice that I felt in this cavern? Like, but much stronger? Uh, it is not the same like you, you can tell that it's the same emotional source but what you felt in this cabin is not the emotion that they are feeling now okay what you I'm... felt here was apathy it was a complete detachment from everything that they held in this cabin that they interacted with but now you can feel their emotional state is one of heightened rage i'm immediately getting drawing my sword out and then prepare like getting ready to rush outside to help everyone since i'm the only one basically in the cabin still okay so everyone's kind of standing their ground and getting ready yeah i mean i'm already trying, I'm trying already to see if my, i can pick points from the sound ground. what direction it's coming from yeah what, what direction is it coming from we... uh it is coming from down the path like it's it's a little further down than your range of sight like i'd say uh the center point would be right around 86? 86, 86, 86 feet, like at the very end of the arrow. Okay. I am currently uh, in my breath form. Like, I, I'm, I've already started taking my breaths. Okay. I am going to jump as quickly as I can into this bush. That's a tree, but okay. Oh, it's a tree. I don't. I don't know. Hmm. So these are all trees. I take it. They're all bushes. I do, it's I a forest. No, it's a forest of bushes. Above. Okay, yeah, we're gonna see. They're all bushes, and some of them are trees. Oh. Nope, they're just all trees. Are they really all trees? Yep. How do you know that they're all trees? Because he said we were in a forest. I mean, forest can have bushes. That doesn't mean they're not bushes. They're not bushes. <laughs> But also, bushes don't grow the about half of the size of a house. Yes, they could. You just got to believe. Well, considering how the rest of the territory is maintained around the house, no. You seem to underestimate. Are 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 you exactly. having this discussion out loud? No, this is out of character. <laughs> this is out of character. Okay, I was double checking. I have to, oh I have no, to he's not this. saying anything. Like he got is not. Are saying there anything. any bushes? There no. are trees there are no bushes okay. thank you well, now we know okay then Oops. i jump into a tree okay you jump into a tree um make it this tree okay what is everyone else doing uh i am going to stand Perfect. next to wait huh oh i am going to stand next to um hikaru Okay. And get ready in my stance. <laughs> okay. So two of you are making stances. Kazi, you've retreated to the uh, trees. Um, Reiko, who kind of takes your strategy as well, but in a different tree, he kind of gets into a uh, flanking position with uh, Hikaru as he kind of positions himself up in the trees and just kind of uh, crouches ready with both his blades. Uh, one of them having a little slack as he's kind of gripping the chain ready to kind of throw that if he needs to. Uh, so everyone's kind of taking combat stances. Dice game, what are you doing? Is he? Is oh no, he... Fell. Fel? Well, I'm still here. You're Dice Gay. You're yeah, dice. What do you do? I said I'm immediately heading outside with my hand. I already said. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, sorry. Well, I, well, I, I, my apologies. That's on me. Uh, okay. So you are heading outside with your hand, uh, hand on your blade. We'll just go ahead and position you like, yeah, like right between. Whoops, yeah. that was on me. Right between the two of them. Um, what do? Okay. Uh, as you all position yourselves and get ready, you just hear like the soft crunching of the ground as whatever this is proceeds towards you and you just hear five 
more cr more crunching across the ground as it proceeds further. Four. Just do. Uh, sorry, I'm just I'm I'm in my breath form, so I was just breathing. <laughs> further, it yeah. it crunches as it now actually enters your sight as you see, uh, this demon with what looks to be like completely flayed skin staring at you with these blood red eyes as its teeth are sharp like a shark's maw it just looks at the rest of you three how far away is it yeah okay. uh it is looks like about there. like 30 38 39 feet that's within oh. that's within my attack range right i did not see nothing i think uh yes okay is that also in my range too Dun, dun, dun. Let's uh. Forty-four. Where do I go? Is is my are my attacks? It'll be under class. Class. Yeah. Thank you. Class. That's where all your techniques are. Okay. Well, that's just. Oh, I'm gonna put this under spells or whatever. Well, you know. Maybe I'll do that next time. <laughs> I'm just gonna have to get a D and D page, a D and D Beyond page, just for this. Because <laughs> every time I have to pull this up, I'm blocking the view for everybody on stream, and I feel really bad about it. Don't you have a second monitor to put it on? No. Oh, get a second monitor. With what money? <laughs> I, I here I can I can next time I can see you like the, the 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 dock for. Uh, so yeah, the next donation like the next donation phone. is to Getting, give me a second Richie monitor. A monitor. <laughs> yeah. Richie, do you have a TV? Yes. Like, there you Just, go. Why aren't you using that? Okay, first off, because I don't have a secondary HDMI port to plug it into. Huh, I can send you one. I've got like 30 of them in my booth. HDMI ports? Yes. Not cable. Not cables, not cords. Ports. ports. Le legit ports, man. Okay, do you, do you also because happen to have... Because this next part's really, really important. Do you also happen to have a graphics and or video card I can install? Let me see. Oh my God! This is a legit question. <laughs> okay, let's get let's focus on the. Actually, demon. let's let's go on this. No, no screw this demon. This story. is an important question. <laughs> this is an important question. It's like, I'm like you don't understand. You don't like understand. You don't understand. I severely need that. Uh, what? I can legit check right now as, right. as he talks. I oh you also have second monitors laying around. Um, Which... I have four, but uh... Uh, yeah, that's a long story. Are you in an electronics store? <laughs> No, I have, it's like hand-me-downs and some people would try to throw them away. Oh. Because they're like, I don't need this because it's small or I don't need this because it's really huge or whatever. So I go dumpster diving and take the um, monitors and shit, so. Uh, which thunder breathing technique are you using? That's what I'm looking at right now. I'm looking at different ones because I don't think I have one in that. The only two with that kind of range are the last two, Heat Lightning and Distant uh, Buzzing Thunder. Uh, or is it? So why is Sorry, it Electric Lightning Shower is what it's called. I was just going to say, I don't have a thing Buzzing Thunder. I don't, on, um, I thought, uh, I well, there's Mosquito Buzzing Thunder, which is Form 3. I have that one. I have, I don't know. I think, I, could, could I do Distant then? I could. Six, 60 feet would be uh, Thunder Breathing Form 5 and Form 6. Oh, I have that. Ha 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 ha. Right? Thunder Breathing Style 5. No, I have Heating Lightning. That's Style 5. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Just kidding. Just kidding. I'm I'm over here looking for it. Like, I wrote the damn thing. I think I, I know. As I look, I'm like also looking in my box to see if I I'll <laughs> show you. Needs. I'll show you. I'll show you what. All right. We'll, we'll worry about that after. Okay. okay. Worry about that after. All right, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with heat, heat and lightning. I will as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he goes first because he's special. He's better than Fel. Fel, you go last. Oh God, no! It just had to do with the fact that I was on guard immediately and I was already prepared and ready and already in my breath form. That's why I set that up because as soon as I saw him, I was I know, planning but, to attack. I know, but Fel, attack. but Fel. All right, so the creature must make a dexterity saving throw. Otherwise, it will take, uh, I think it's like 4d8 and 3d6. 
Oh, sweet. Yeah, it is a high stamina burning technique, um, but it definitely worth it. Um, let's see. So the DC for heat lightning is a base sixteen, unless your uh, proficiency modifier and wisdom modifier bring it above a sixteen. Uh, so that means that the base saving throw would be a 16. Okay. Um, which he did currently beat, so he does take half damage. Fuck you. But he does still take damage. Whole world's against me, man, I swear to God. <laughs> uh, so then you just gotta roll 4d8 and 3d6. 4d8s. I, I got 3d8s. There's 4d8s. Okay, yeah, I, I'm done with this electronic bullshit. Same. Alright, so that is seven so far. I mean, f to be fair, yeah, I've been rolling my own dice this whole time. Oh, well, screw you. <laughs> I'm okay. the DM! What do you want from me? Ten. Uh, Everything. More That's clarification? Fine. That's what I want from you. <laughs> you can't be exposing those bonuses. Also, also, more nat 20s on my end would be, you know, applicable well, well once you earn it you'll get the sound effect how dare you <laughs> all right uh let's see now i now i have to math i don't really want to math but i have to math you know what could uh, there's you also know what, oh you know okay. it could be electronic it can do the math for you if you if you on google if you put in uh 48 let's just let him do his thing let me do the numbers because i, I i'm not I, I terrible at this <laughs> <sighs> do, 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 27. Do, do. There you go. Okay. Divided by 27 two. points of damage. Uh, how do you do when you have that? Uh, when divided by two, you divide it in half it, and well, round down. I'm talking down, about so. odd numbers. Are you rounding down or rounding up? Rounding down. Fuck. All right. Hate you, hate you so much. So it's thirteen. <laughs> okay. Uh, you as you strike out with this uh quick slash, unleashing a wave of heated air pressure that cracks and burns the uh the air around it. Uh, you watch as it kind of strikes the demon in the shoulder. And it kind of leaves this black scarred mark there. And it looks over its shoulder and it just kind of... <laughs> and its neck bends at almost a 90 degree angle as it just kind of looks directly at you, Hikaru, and goes, It's been a while since I've eaten a thunder. <laughs> okay, this well... is a very this is a very different Hikaru at this point. Like... The personality is almost changed. Uh, as he resheathes his sword, just looks up, and uh -huh, sorry to hear about your thunder starvation. And then it's just like it's said in like, uh, not like the words would be polite if not said in the way that he's that he's saying them. It's not a calm kind of thing. It's like sorry to hear about your thunder starvation. It's like he's fucking snapped. Gotcha. Yeah. Um. On that note, roll for initiative. Yay! Yay! God damn it! <laughs> Hooray. Is it bad? No, it's good, and that's the problem because it's on initiative. <sighs> oh, come on, Fucking Kazu. really? Oh, okay. Oh, Kazu, why? Okay. Uh, he, he's in a tree. Okay, <laughs> he doesn't have the best foot. Um. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, we're doing oh my God. I don't know what my initiative bonus is. Is it a plus one or a uh, plus it'll two? It'll be your dexterity. It's your deck. It's just your base dexterity. Okay. Uh, where would that be? I forgot Core already. Core stats. Core stats. Okay, Core stats. Thank you. Stats. For Hikaru, that's a plus four. You're good, my dude. Oh, well, then I'm at 24 because press that button, natural 20. Woot. Well, since you said it. I mean. Uh, natural 20. It, there we go. Okay. It's it's all right. It's not letting me do it. What the flip? You have to click on your token first. Yeah, you have to click on your token. I did that. Uh, oh, now you want to work? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it does. Uh, be the one freaking the one time I was like, you know, I'd be okay with like just a general roll. No, I roll a twenty then. Got a roll for Ray Koku. Initiative. Oh natural my god. 20. That's not a natural twenty. Yeah, that's a ghetto twenty. <laughs> that's a ghetto twenty. <laughs> ghetto twenty. It'll be oh, natural. It'll be natural twenty if it has the green ring around it. Yeah. yeah. All right, and then uh, demon. Unknown thunder start start demon. <laughs> Unknown demon who snorts the, the 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 thunder people. Bring out the thunder. He 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 eats some like the cocaine. I what? <laughs> I don't know. He, he, fucking... Apparently he eats them like cocaine. Is that what I just heard? That's what I heard. All right then. Don't worry about it. Just just kill demons. Do your job. How dare you, sir? <laughs> uh, at the top of initiative is one very pissed off Hikaru Fujiwara. Hikaru, what would you like to do? Oh, uh, man. Well, I mean, there's so many options, you know? I guess I'll look at my next form. Uh, if I can... Yeah, I, I, do, I would like to remind you, you do have currently 11 stamina as you burned 12 to unleash that strike. Yeah, I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a couple of steps forward. Uh, so that I'm within 30, f like, like, let me within 25 feet. How far is, how far is 25 feet from him? Uh, 25 feet would be right here. Be, uh, about 14 movement for you. Okay. No, that's good. I'm good on that. Okay. So, so sorry, I took the grid off because the grid was interfering with this, this map He's for got whatever fucking point. reason. Okay. I just want, I'm just curious why it wasn't snapping. What? How much does Form One burn? Uh, Form One, if I remember correctly, it burns uh, about like five or six. That I mean, these one. things I I don't see them six. on here. Where's the cost? Okay, there it is. Cost. Yeah, six it's cost stamina. is right beneath the yeah. If environment related to your element, it's neg okay. Gotcha. Uh, so case in point for people with thunder breathing or wind breathing if you are airborne uh, like say if a demon knocks you up in the air and then you decide to unleash your technique you burn less stamina sweet uh, I'm assuming that's for wind not for thunder uh, for, it, it's technically for both thunder just has a higher uh, elevation rate that's considered its element we're gonna have a talk about how lightning relative works later. to the ground, or yeah, relative to the sea level. Just, just really well, quickly. Well, technically, it's, it's 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 lightning and I don't know. They call it lightning and they call it thunder. They call it two different things. Walk, walk. walk we're gonna have a talk about how electricity works later after this campaign, after this uh, this <laughs> session. Science. You know what? Fine. Tapping into your own bioelectricity, you transcend mortal planes and unleash an amazing attack. Sweet. The demon is already dead. You heard the DM. <laughs> now it turns out now it turns out this demon is immune to other planes the mu oh man i mean, I didn't, I mean he not used this demon i didn't realize he had legendary resistances like that not this demon all right so i'm gonna use form one and 30 feet so i'll end up behind him but i will have slashed gotcha only this time uh behind him instead of looking serene and elegant like as soon as he's done, like he immediately turns right back around to look at his prey, and he's ready for the next slash. His eyes are just like, ah, ah. like he's he's in full kind of like annihilate kind of mode. Like, like I said, a, a, a switch has been flipped. Gotcha. Yep. Um, on that note, uh, the DC for Thunderclap and Flash is a thirteen. Uh huh. Uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot that a natural one can do. Oh, right. Sweet. So so that is full damage. Okay, what am I rolling? Uh, For Thunderclap and Flash, it is 3d8. 3d8. All right, where are my diamonds? A kiss on the hand may be quite continental, but diamonds but are... But diamonds are red girl's best friend. Doesn't just have to be girls, but yeah. Okay, uh, so that me, is a total of... Born in April. All right, first off, <laughs> first off, uh, if anybody's Link here, it's gonna be me. It's gonna be me. <laughs> All right, 
15. 15 points of damage? Yeah. Six, four, and a five. All right. Which, hey, no ones. I'm happy about that. Uh, with a, with 15 points of damage, you burst forth with great speed, uh, utilizing your thunderclap and flash. Uh, and as you strike across, um, him, you sever through his midsection as you travel, but as you, as the two pieces part, you watch as strings of sinew begin to reconnect the demon's torso together, and he pulls himself together. But he looks like he is still like taking a hit. All right, so oh, not not like not like uh, uh, down on a three point landing or whatever, but like uh, his non sword hand, the fingers are touching the ground like he just like he was sliding, and he used his hand to kind of help curb the momentum, and he's turned to look back at uh, at the demon. He's like. <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Come on! Even done. Yep. <laughs> and and thus the other demon boy goes up next. Hi, hi, <laughs> hi, 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 ladies and gentlemen. My name is Richie Roberts. I'm a voice actor. I'll be here all night. Da 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 da. Hooray! Uh, moon haunted. Okay. Let's see how I want to do this. <laughs> how do you want to do this? Well, Ray Koku's not going to kill it in one hit, but he's definitely going to try. Come on, DM. How do you want to do this? Ooh. Actually. I, I am not a Dave, Yoshimi. I am just a fell. A fell that always messes up things, anyways. Yeah, but fells are still better than Dave's. That, you, okay, that you do have a fair point. Okay, uh, Reikoku is going to use, uh, you, the rest of you kind of, uh, are, are focused on the demon, but even you all can still hear this, as you kind of, like, hear the very gentle, like, twinkling of the chain as it extends, you just hear, <sighs> plasma breathing form, form one, ravaging burn. And you see this chain lash out as it strikes towards the demon, and it's going to need to make a saving throw. God fucking fuck. Uh, That is an 11 total, which does not beat the DC. So you watch as Reikoku leaps from the tree about, like, give or take, let's see, from here to here, uh, about 10 feet. Uh, and then lashes out with the chain. Uh, as it strikes into the demon's side, uh, it the new shape of his blade allows it to wedge. Uh, and as he does, you watch as he yanks with full force. You almost want to see the veins on his muscles bulge uh, as he pulls himself the additional 30 feet towards this demon and strikes down with the second blade, hammering the first one through uh, the demon's arm as he unleashes his attack. Which that is okay. Twenty nine points of damage. Jesus. Good gracious. I was about to say that was a lot of that was a lot of dice I heard rolling. Uh, as he does this, uh, the ability of Ravaging Burn allows him to knock the opponent back 10 feet. Um, you said you were kind of, uh, not three-point landing, but you were definitely, like, crouched behind it ready for the next one? Yeah. So remember that old high school game where you shoved someone and someone else knelt behind them? Yeah. That happens. What, is the, the demon it, going over me, or is it Edgelord yes, as, going as, as, over the, as he hits the demon with full force, uh, with throwing in his entire body weight on top of the force of this strike, the demon loses its footing, and as it goes, its uh, leg gets caught on your shoulder, and it tumbles back behind you, kind of rolling down the hill a bit. Since he uh, is basically entering, since he is basically entering and exiting my area, does, do I get an attack of opportunity? Uh, since this is not his choice, he is not moving, 
he is getting thrown, uh, it would not provoke an attack of opportunity. Yeah, you're busy but he is right prone, now. which means any attacks on him uh, moving forward will have advantage so long as he is down. Yeah, I was, he was like, this wouldn't be an attack of opportunity. I'm like, I'm a Thunder user. You're underestimating my reflexes. <laughs> All right. But no, I understand where you're coming from. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Go for it. Uh, at that point, that is his movement. That is his action. Atsuko, it is your turn. All righty. Uh... Very impressive, by the way. <laughs> um, I will use one of my styles. If that is possible. Uh, it depends I? on... Well, I mean, the distance between you and your target uh, is... Has gotten greater. Yeah, it's gotten a bit greater. Uh, it's still at 50 almost 50, 60 feet. 60. All right, so I think I'm going to use Thunder Breathing Style 4. Okay, form four. Mm hmm. Okay. Sorry, I kind of like blanked out. Apologize because I'm reading. <laughs> so I have the roll of 2d10. Uh, let's see here. Yep. Uh, well, I mean, you have to roll an attack first. Oh, attack, attack first. <laughs> uh, now this does constitute as a ranged attack roll. So while he is prone, this will this attack will be a disadvantage. Oh no! Me melee attacks are at advantage, but if you are making a ranged attack, uh, those are at disadvantage because he is a smaller target. Mm. Just wanted to let you know before you did that. Thank you. My pleasure. Now this is interesting. How far am I? Can you show me again? Uh, sixty feet exactly. Sixty feet. Oh well, in that case, then that brings all five. Okay. Style 5. You are using Heat Lightning. Right. Alright, so he's going to need to... Okay. Okay. That moment when you had to read. <laughs> which is far then, which is closer. Okay. So that's a failure, but on that oh, note, no. um, Hikaru, I do need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Because technically speaking, you are in the line of this attack. Mm. And unfortunately, Heat Lightning does not discriminate. That is true. Re Mine's a failure. Uh, no, not yours. Your is not a failure. The demon failed his saving throw, which means the demon takes full damage oh, from sorry. your attack. I yeah. didn't hear that then. I apologize. Yeah. Okay. Now, um, if Hikaru yeah. succeeds on his saving throw, then he will take half damage. Hikaru. Kauru. Right. The Nord High School Host Club. It's, it's a I reunion. believe in you. It's a reunion. Okay, so uh, these are our saves. Like oh, a I have plus a plus six. six. Yeah, I have a plus six on my save. So all so... you have to do is literally roll a ten. <laughs> oh, well, I did not roll a ten, unfortunately. Uh, I rolled a twenty. <laughs> uh, no, I did not roll a 20 either. Uh, uh, in total, that's 22 because I rolled a 16. All right. Uh, with a 16, you take half damage. Uh, with Heat Lightning, I will need you, Lady Chan, to roll 4d8 and 3d6. Gotcha. Uh, so my 48 is 22. Okay. And then my 3d6 is... 14. So that is 36 points of damage halved. Uh, that would be 18 points of damage that you take, uh, Hikaru. Yeah, mark that on my character, please. I apologize. Uh, well, okay. here's, the, here's the really crazy part. Don't apologize to me. Worry more <laughs> about your character. Because clearly Hikaru is in a mode right now, and you just attacked him. Oh shit. So uh, I'd worry as... less about I'd worry less about him <laughs> and worry more about you. As this uh attack is unleashed, uh you watch the energy kind of like ripple over Hikaru and like as you do this you kind of realize oh shit. Uh, uh, have... But as you do this, uh you watch as the demon's skin actually like cracks and pe like this this flayed skin cracks and peels, his muscles and sinew tearing and dissolving into ash as it unleashes a scream. Uh, 
It is looking bloodied. Uh, and with that, you still have your movement if you would like to move closer. All right. I will, yeah, I will move closer. Additionally, since you did just attack Hikaru and he said he was in a mode, there's also moving away. You can also run. <laughs> run far away. Um, I'm going to move, like, right over here. <laughs> Stand behind Akino. Protect me, fiend. <laughs> just in case. I don't... Uh, all right. That ends your turn. Daisuke, it is your turn. Daisuke is immediately... Uh, so, uh... I'm going to move... Okay, so just to be clear, with my style, am I allowed to basically... Like, I'm going to do move and then do uh, water breathing style um, nine. Okay. Now, can I flavor it like I'm charging the whole way there? You can. Okay. You can add that flavor text. Yeah. So, let me just see. Yeah, he's within the range. So, charging the whole... Let me do... Distance. Stopping about here. Breath, uh, steam slowly comes uh, out of my... His breathing becomes much heavy, um, calmer and everything. As he... Sim uh, does it allow me... So basically passing, well, actually getting right neck, would it, does it make me pass the enemy? It would more or less put you kind of, since you were about the same distance as Lady Chan, it'll put you within five, like since each creature occupies about a five foot square, uh, it'll put you within five feet to the side, uh, to either side of it. Well, if, so, I, yeah, all right, so I would go here, and then okay. I need to roll... An attack. Uh, yeah, roll an attack. So, oh. Oh. roll one d twenty. No. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, just moving forward, you might just want to roll from your weapons tab, because it already adds your modifiers. Oh. Yeah. Does a nine hit? Uh, it does not. Okay, thank you. Uh, as you get into range and swing, um... Oh, wait. I have advantage, don't I? Because he is prone and it's He melee. is prone, yes. That is true. Uh, so let me... Oh, let me roll from the yeah. weapons this time. But, uh... Okay, so does a 14 hit? I'm gonna count the 14, not the 8. Uh, a 14 does not hit. Okay. As you get within range, uh, rushing forward 30 feet, stopping, and then uh, as your pace quickens, your feet kind of hammering the ground as you are uh, minimizing the impact but expanding the distance at which you can travel, um, you gain up to it where it is laying, and as you go to slash, you misjudge the distance by just a few millimeters, and it just completely misses his neck. And you landed uh, beside him. Shoot. Uh, that will still consume that stamina, though. Yep. Uh, and then I get on my token. Uh, where? Do It'll be guys... the green. It'll be the green bar. Yeah. So that is going to drop it to. All right. In the meet, just continue. I'm going to edit the stamina. Yeah, okay. Um, on that note, it is the demon's turn. Did, did, was that stamina just messed up? Uh, uh, I, I just reduced the stamina because you didn't drop it for heat lightning. So. Oh, oh, thank you. My pleasure. Uh, so on that note, uh, it is the demon's turn as he attempts to stand from the prone position. Richie, this does provoke an attack of opportunity. Can I attack too? <laughs> I mean, you're both there. Yeah. Let's let's cut this bitch. <laughs> let's do this. But remember, you slashed Fucking him. Fucking eviscerate him. And, uh, oh, well. Richie? I mean, try. I mean, yeah, go for it. What am I looking at for my uh, attack? Like, where do I look at my just general uh, It would attack? be under weapons. Under weapons. Thank you. 
What happens? What happens? So there is no... I don't have a bonus for attack damage? Uh, hold on. That should not be right. Uh, not a magic bonus, but you do are... Where it says to hit, that's your bonus. So it'd be a plus six. Okay, a plus six. And then you, uh, for your d weapon, you roll a d8 and you get a plus four to the damage. Uh, question, DM. Yes. Do I still need to take pictures and show you? Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, nah, I, can. I, 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 I know that sound. Uh, no, I, you're good. Well, uh, yeah, go ahead and press that button. All right. Let's press the fun button. Natural 20. And now everybody in chat knows what I rolled. Yay. Yay. <laughs> so that's um, plus six. That's a 26. Does a 26 hit or is that just a near miss? Uh, that still hits. Okay. Um, so a 26 hits um, on top of that. Uh, just roll your d8 damage okay so uh are we just doing the general matt mercer doubling of the die uh it the way i do it is you roll your dice uh then you add your modifier and then what you do is you then add the maximum value of that dice on top of what you rolled what is as my mod? well where do huh? i find my modifier on my your modifier would be your dexterity it's a plus four okay so okay so uh that would be 11 in total Seven and eleven seven in and total. 11. Yeah, seven and uh, seven okay, and four is then eleven. Then you add. Uh, then for your critical, you add twelve to that because that is eight Jesus plus your modifier. Christ. Okay. Goodness. So that's twenty-three. How do you want to do this? I would like to chop his head clean off of him, laughing well, as I do it. <laughs> uh, 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 I swung first. Uh, you you did both hit. Um. But with the Thunder's amount faster of than water. damage, you know what? I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flavor text this. Um, as you both strike simultaneously, um, you both kind of swing with the same curvature and angle. So, Fell, whereas you strike horizontally, like at the base of his neck as he's standing, uh, to kind of like hit the the back of his neck as he's like pushing himself up off the ground. The blade sinks in about uh, a, a third of the way through his neck, but kind of gets stopped by a spinal column. And as you're using your strength to kind of drive the blade through the rest of his neck, in comes Hikaru, just full of thunder and fury, striking down on top of your blade, delivering consecutive force, pushing the blade through the spinal column, through the arteries, and the out the other side of the neck. More just, more just hilariously bloodthirsty laughter, but yeah, sure. Jesus Christ. <laughs> as the demon begins to turn to ash, as its head just kind of rolls. Okay, so uh, Hikar is going to turn around. He's going to lightly tap his sword on his shoulder. He's going to take a quick inhalation of breath. And... DM, you're called. Dex, uh, Dex, uh, Dex check or... Uh, save what What would it be because I'm immediately going to just appear right in front of her uh, can, can it would be a dexterity save this, can we come out of this real quick can we just look at the tree for a second Cass has been in there the whole fight <laughs> he's safe Kazu was so ready Kazu was like alright it's time I will oh oh god oh god oh god, oh, god. <laughs> Kazu just, just sees all that happening from a distance. He's like, eh, they got this. Pulls his wa <laughs> like, on like, the uh, I got to admit, every combat, it has been, like, the thing. So, <laughs> so a dex... Kazu's been hiding the whole time. Like, Are you sure anything. he's not the red coat of the <laughs> Well, no, once Kazu, once he noticed that you guys were like, holy shit, they're actually doing like, a lot of damage. I'm not attacking her, just to be, just... To be clear, DM, I'm not attacking her, but I I'm literally just using uh quick quick step movements to be to just kind of be right in front of her. Uh, just just to just kind of show up right in front of her, like inches from her face. So I figured, 
you know, is it a dex kind of, if, it's, if I figured it was dex based because, you know, surprise and all that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it would be, since this is uh, her kind of, like, it's not an attack, but it is still her reacting to uh, your advance, it would still be a saving throw. Yeah. So she's going to need to make a dex save. Make a dex save, Lady Chun. Uh... Oh, so to roll for a dex save, you would go to the core stats, and you would hit roll the save. For dex? Yeah. Yes. There will be a that. dice next to dex. Yes. I was okay, like making sure that was my character for a second there. Uh, with a 23, like, you do appear suddenly. Um, it does not cause her to, like, flinch. Or fall back or anything like or that. Or fall back or anything, but, uh, it, it, it is still surprising. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm like, I'm like maybe like an inch away from her face. Our noses are almost touching. Yo, know, can, can I say something? Yeah. If you're going to kiss me, you better take me on, on a date. Was that in character or out of character? In character. I, re I reach what? up a hand. I reach up a hand and I pat her on the head. And like, I still have the crazed eyes, but you can tell I'm sort of slightly calming down. Next time, hit the right target. And then I just I walk did. past her. You were in my way. No, no I, I'm not even listening. I just walk on past her, start sheathing my sword. <laughs> and then I go, then I go sit down under the tree. <laughs> it's, it's time, it's time for that, it's time for that calming medication. Ray Koku just kind of looks at, at this situation and looks to, to like Daisuke and, uh, fucking. <laughs> Uh, Hikaru just goes, y'all are weird. Actually, halfway and to the tree, off. halfway to the tree, he changes his mind. He goes, uh, and he starts making it back for uh, to, to the cabin. He goes, well, our cabin now. <laughs> just goes inside. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, yeah, it, I think the cabin's going to be okay now. Okay. All right then. Uh, as you all head into the cabin, you all kind of like are able to. There's enough space for everyone to to spread out. There is uh one bed, but there are enough uh futons kind of stashed away that uh each person can kind of roll out onto the floor if they need to. Oh, sword sword in hand, next to uh close to close to the fireplace, as they enter. Uh, he cut her is already just on his back snoring very loudly. Just, you know, uh, and, and with that and, and with his howlery and everything by the side. So he's just bare chested for every, like everybody to see just <sighs> like he's like damage happened. He's in recovery mode. Uh, Ray Koku goes back to his shadow corner and like throws a futon on over himself, closes his eyes and. And then you just watch, like, even though his eyes are closed and you can kind of tell that he's asleep, his body just gets rigid. And he's just not moving, but you can, like, hear him, like, breathing softly. Rigor mortis has set in. Gotcha. Um, I'm just going to go stand by the door and just kind of, like, stay on guard. <laughs> She's going to stand by the door and this time and not try to kill her. any of her teammates accidentally. <laughs> he was in the way! <laughs> How do you He's know it was nine, nine fucking hit points. That's all I'm saying. If that demon had chose to attack me and me not get an attack of opportunity, I would be unconscious. Yeah. Had I not yeah. gotten the attack of opportunity, my only chance, my only chance to plead on my behalf was to basically ask the DM if he was going to roll to see if he was going to attack me or fell. Which yeah. Walker could have immediately been like, nah, you're attack. the one that looks more damaged. He's going after you. Uh, the answer to that is both. He has multi-attack. God damn so it. He, and then well, we still have Kazu still had, in the tree just, just chilling. He like, had multi-attack. They got this. 
He he had multi attack. Good point. At the size on had. <laughs> well, no. Once the fight ended, he got off of his wire swing. It's like and... like the crazy violent cinnamon bun. I love having this like split. So so we have violent cinnamon bun. We have. How many? How do we? What kind of different cinnamon? If he, uh, essentially, <laughs> essentially, what happens here? What happens with Hikaru? Is it is in his first attack, Hikaru is still like his normal natural personality. But if it's something actually survives his first attack, then it's worthy of being slaughtered, and he goes into full fucking primal beast mode, which is what you kind of just saw. Uh. Ray Koku would probably be like Edge Lord Cinnamon Bun. Mountains, uh, mount, I, uh, mountains do shit to people. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yep. There's a hell of a mountain, man. <laughs> it was. Uh. So in order, what Cinnamon Bun name would we be, or would our characters be? That's the real question. I mean, uh, I figure well, crazy cinnamon bun, but okay. Crazy, awkward uh, cinnamon crazy, bun. Yeah. yeah, crazy or aggro. Crazy, awkward um, cinnamon bun, man. I, I don't know. <laughs> Always <laughs> awkward. Always awkward. On that note, uh, like I said, uh, so you got off your wire swing. You're at the door. Uh, Daisuke, what you doing? Uh, I take it you're taking uh, first patrol then? Uh, hey, hey, Richie. Yo. Out of, out of the character. Real quick. Look in the chat real quick. Oh, good God, no. Misery, way. man. How <laughs> dare you? Look, look in the line. These are, these are he our beautiful Oxico, I ship children. <laughs> I was, I was wondering how it was gonna be because, because literally, because like literally, because literally, he, he just steps. He's right in front of you. His eyes are a little crazy, but you can tell there's no malice, and. And like he's like that close to her because fucking he doesn't he doesn't like have a lot of human interaction. He's not like he like I said, he's he's <laughs> Oh <laughs> god, they're putting ship names Oh my god So he to go if we can get Hitsuko, somebody to best. draw that if somebody can draw that with them nose to nose Keep in mind, keep in mind, everybody's going to be focused on the nose to nose. You have to remember, he doesn't, like, he doesn't have shirts. So it's like, it's like abs. And like I said, he's got the body of Inosuke. He's basically Inosuke with table manners. That's, that's... Somebody needs to draw that. I'm just, I'm just imagining, like, him, uh, like, her just standing there with kind of like that half eyelid expression where it's just kind of like eyelids are, like, slightly drooped, like, meh. Blanks there, like, uh. Yeah, uh, and then suddenly he just appears, like, frothing at the mouth. She just looks at him, like, nose to nose, looks down at his abs, looks up at him again. If you're going to kiss me, you should at least take me to dinner first. Pats her on the head. <laughs> on Pats, her on the, Pats her on the head. Like, notice he didn't say bad job or anything. He just said, next time, make sure you hit the right target. That's all it yeah. is. This is like... But, but she did hit the right target. He didn't yeah. see that. Yo, everybody's now just saying ship. Yo, he just right. looked up. He just okay. looked up and saw I, I her guess, attack him. I guess the ship name's confirmed. I, I don't know. I mean, everybody's no, literally okay. saying it. Hikatsuko uh, anyway. Army Unite. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Hikatsuko Army. You gotta watch out for that Hikatsuko Army, everybody. Go. I love how we're like two episodes in and they're already shipping. Shipping. Jesus like, to be Christ. fair, to be fair, like, we. It was bound to happen. It, I mean, no, I mean, to be fair, the whole cinnamon bun thing was last episode, so this should not be that shocking. Yeah. Fair enough. Because they, they essentially, pesky. like, I didn't I didn't come up with Cinnamon Bun. I saw somebody in the chat. I saw several comments about Cinnamon Bun. I was like, oh, my God, we are Cinnamon Buns. Christ, we are Hikatsuko. Hikatsuko is on Jesus Christ. <laughs> what have we done? It, it went from innocent shipping to, like, full-on cult. Full-on uh, cult shipping. I mean... <laughs> If you if you're gonna ship if you're gonna ship there better be fan art that's all I'm saying. Yeah, there has on... to be yeah for the fat dog, fat dog uh, Discord. Yeah. There you go. Talk, on, all right. On that note, uh, Lady Chan, talk to your artist. We need to commission. We need to commission you at got, least a legit I, one I, before I we get you. up fan art. I got you. Uh, I got you, so... fam. I got you. I got you, fam. I got you. Daisuke, what were you gonna do? Well, oh yeah, uh, I was asking who's. T I was asking. Uh, 
Oh, who's to, you were asking uh, Atsuko if she was taking first watch, yeah. Yeah. The cherry on top. <laughs> he caught her, wakes up. He caught her, wakes up in the morning, and she's, like, curled up against him. <laughs> uh, Atsuko, you're, yes. you're being talked to by Daisuke. He is asking if you're taking first watch. Yes, yeah. I will be taking first watch. You go on inside and rest. Sure, just uh, wake me up for second watch, then. You got it. I'm gonna set up some wire traps before I go to sleep. Good idea! <laughs> it's a very good idea! We're still in a fucking cabin full of demons. Yeah, we're gonna take fucking shit. Um... Alright, uh... Lady-chan, roll me a perception check. Uh, okay... Yoshimi, I hereby declare that is the winner. Sweet Bean Bun is now our official yes! ship name. <laughs> yes! I agree! That is the best. I agree. Because it's a cinnamon bun and it's a sweet bean, yes. so it's a sweet bean bun. Yes! I'm all for that. I, sh I ship that name. I ship it. <laughs> I ship it. Jesus uh, we're, we're not we're, even the f the finished with the second episode. What's I really funny is shipping it's like. Done. With the first watch, it goes uneventfully uh, as you keep a very close and wary eye out this time around for any interlopers. Uh, you, you know, notice no disturbances in the wires that Kazu have set. You notice uh, no uh, strange smells uh, encroaching on your territory. You are safe for now. Uh, Phil, you said you're taking second walk watch? Yes. Okay. Uh, so as your first watch comes to an end, uh, Atsuko, uh, Daisuke, you wake up and go to assume second watch. Mm -hmm. Am I uh, coming back to the cabin? I mean, I, I, I assumed that you'd there. finished your, your traps before No, no, I'm watch. talking about... I'm talking about Daisuke. Oh, so the token? No, he didn't yeah, have to move the token. He's like still he's still all the way fucking out there. Oh no, sorry, I'm. I, he's burning from a distance. Yeah, somebody was actually saying, "Where's Fell's token?" Yeah. yeah sorry, I, sorry. I was off screen taking care. Of uh, OOC, the... OOC. If you're if you're watching the uh, if you're watching the show, would you please take a moment to refresh the page and look at the episode's title? Because now, generally, I will title it after the episode, but now here we are. Uh, I think we've more or less stumbled onto it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dungeons and Demon Slayers episode two. Ships sail fast at night. <laughs> Fair enough. It's sweet bean bun. Sweet bean bun. You have to include the bun. Yeah. Uh, on that note, uh, Daisuke, you assume second watch. Uh, I yep. need you to roll me a perception check. Oh, will do. I'm going to post this in the freaking fat dog discord under general and confuse the shit out of everyone. Not great. Um, so I'll say this as far as you can detect you to keep your watch. Uh, there is no disturbance in the wire traps, which leads you to believe that nothing encroaches close to you. But as far as mid to long range threats, like things further out in the forest, you can't really get a sense of any motives out there. Be confused. Who was doing a third shift then? I'll do it. Uh, yeah, Kazu you... takes over for you. Are you sure you're gonna take over a shift? Or are you just gonna go into a tree again? <laughs> the joke he's dreaming. Is that as in character or out of character? Out of character. Out of character. I went in there to try and get surprised. It was not needed. Uh, on that note, um, Daisuke, as your shift comes to an end, uh, Kazu relieves you and you are able to get back to getting some rest. Um, all right, Kazu, uh, roll me a perception check. Can I actually roll? God damn, Kazu. Still not great. Um, okay, uh, as you all keep, well, as you keep a weathered eye out, um, you are very well attuned to your wire strings, um, so 
kind of getting a grasp on them, you focus intently kind of like on any disturbances in them. Uh, you feel a few disturbances through the night, but uh, from the kind of like weight and uh, sounds that you can hear with your with uh, your abilities, uh, you can tell these are just kind of like small animals like rabbits or, or at most a deer that just bumps into one and then scurries off. All right, uh, and with third shift coming to an end, uh, I'd say each watch is probably about two hours in length at most. Uh, so Reikoku takes the fourth, uh, keeping a, a weathered eye out. Uh, let's see here. Yeah. Okay. Can, can I can I do something That's before we like continue? Oh snap! <laughs> I didn't even know that. Uh, yes, you can because Ray Coke rolled a natural twenty on perception, which means that, that he is like he becomes one with the shadows and waits for anything. So Yoda is standing outside. <laughs> <laughs> so while everybody's you know patrolling and resting, of course, Yatsuko is you know looking at Higaru. Of course, he's still injured, so while he's still asleep, she's going to use one of her bandages and wrap him up in bandages. Oh, okay. oh the guilt is that. setting in. I see. The guilt is setting in. The guilt is setting in. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the fans go wild. <laughs> just just <laughs> the thought. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, wraps up his wrong. wounds quietly and carefully. So he's Perfect. literally just going to wake up. Is concerned. Ship he's... confirmed. Ship confirmed. Oh my God. Confirm. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, the bandages heal for 2d4 plus 2, so go ahead and roll me that. 2d4 plus 2? Her? 2d4 plus 2. Okay. Yeah, she's, she's rolling because she is healing you. That is true. Yes. 2d4. Hold on. It's loading. Great. If you so were to bandage yourself or she hands it to you, then that's what 2d4 you... is a 5. You rolled the same okay. as I did. Yes, another oh, wow. win for the sweet <laughs> bean bun army. <laughs> uh, Alright, so you said it was a, the 2d4 was 5, uh, so plus 2, that makes it 7. Hikaru, you recover 7 hit points in your sleep. Huzzah! Not to mention the other hit points you recover from a long rest. So, so uh, yeah, I'm fully recovered, but so, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you, you, uh, with the assistance of her bandages, you were actually able to recover full hit points before, uh, you all adventure forth next. Does your character wear perfume or like have any kind of scented oils or anything? She does not. Okay. So yeah, he would not know. He would not have a clue as to who put those on him then. Like, if you had, like, some kind of oils or perfumes or something like that, and I was like, why do I smell like a girl? <laughs> it's like, that, that would have been a totally different thing. That would be, yeah. Uh, like, he would wake up, look around, suddenly smell that, and be like, get super beat red in the face. Like, like go super shy boy f cinnamon bun. It would, I was just trying to figure out how to play this. Okay. So he's just going to wake up confused. Good, good, good. All right. Uh, with that, you all make it through the fifth night into the sixth day, uh, and the next kind of like day night cycles pass relatively uneventfully. Uh, now that you have secured uh, bowls, courtesy of Hikaru, and now shelter, courtesy of also Hikaru. Yeah. Does I and Daisuke. Back up? Huh? Yes, your stamina is recovered. The way I have it said is that you recover all stamina points after a long rest, and you recover half after a short rest. Uh, so after a long rest, you all recover all stamina points, uh, and the next two days pass without any additional boss fights. Uh, very quickly, very quickly, when when yes. uh, when we woke up in the cabin, I would have 
uh, still been confused by everything, but I'd have, I'd been like, I'd have had an idea as to who might have done it and why, because just because I my personality switches, I'm still me. I still remember everything, so I'm just like okay. And so uh, I would like to do a search for like to see if there's any kind of stuff that I could use as like food and stuff. Like I know this is, uh, well, I'm assuming this is a demon's house, so. Probably not eggs or anything, but, you know, if I could scrounge anything up extra on top of the rations we already have, I'd like to. Uh. Otherwise, I have to go hunting. Cause I'm, I, I'll, I, I'll say this. Um, it's not hard uh, as you are able to scrounge up kind of just like the, the a few basic things. Like there are some grains of rice. You're not sure like what well, necessarily okay. like condition they're in. Um, but as I far rolled, as meat, I rolled a 16 plus whatever I need to add for my perception. I think it's like a one or something. Uh, then there's no meat here. Sweet. Isn't made of people. Okay. Yeah. I don't want to eat people. So I go, I, I, I tell everybody, Hey, I found some rice. I'll be back. I set the rice down in front of uh, in front of everybody that's kind of gathered by the door, I guess. And then, you know, I go, I'll be back. And then I walk out and I guess I'm gone for like half an hour, maybe an hour. And then I come back with like a boar. Yes. Okay. Uh, and when you come back, uh, the rice is cooked. Uh, you see Ray Koku actually tending it and he is like it is very nice looking rice. Like it is like home cooked meal level rice. Good stuff. Like this man has has turned lead to gold with this rice. So for the next for the next day or so, uh, is it is it safe to say that like we kind of hung out here for like maybe a day so I could cure and dry the meat and everything? And yeah, you yeah. all like okay. definitely take some time to to prepare your rations before moving forward. Sweet. All right. So that's during the daytime you guys have like That's what I did. So we had shit. we had some dried and salted meats that I could save and preserve as rations and then we had like maybe a little bit of ham to go with the rice and uh uh what would it be to try and look for like chickens or something for like some egg or something? Because you can have egg. Uh, that would be a survival check. Okay. And that is a nine plus whatever. Uh, uh, I'm not pulling up whatever it is because I'm trying to keep what you have on screen. No, on I screen. gotcha. Yeah, it'd um, be nine plus wisdom. Yeah, it'd be plus this perce uh, perception. Uh, or no, not perception, survival, which is also wisdom plus one. Uh, so you don't have much luck finding chickens okay cool um it, it's not less that you can't find them and more that you quickly as you are hunting about uh you kind of come to the conclusion that there probably aren't any on the mountain okay cool all right well i mean i found a boar that was good yeah sweet all right um and as you all make it to the last day um you hear this loud kind of suzumi drum being beat uh kind of signaling you all to return to the foot uh to the base of the mountain where you all first gathered and as you all kind of come down uh there are other people like scattered about but some of them you can tell have failed because they are just like being escorted away by um the god i'm trying to remember what the heck the the medical corps is called i think it's like the kokushibo or like the the medical corps that served the butterfly estate um they're kind of like escorting some people away um of like the initial 20 that were here uh including you all there are maybe like seven people outside of you so like eight of them are are gone Um, of those that are remaining, uh, four of them are being escorted away. Uh, three of them still remained. Um, one of them, uh, fell. You actually recognize. Uh, it was one of the members of that 
uh, arrogant dude's party. Uh, the good? one wearing the green Howery. Oh, is it the snooty dude? Did he make it? Uh, he's being escorted away. Oh. <laughs> I kind of am like... But then I turn to see the guy in the green... Hmm. He just looks like... He looks like Zenitsu did after the, the final selection. He's just like looking down. Eyes <laughs> wide. <laughs> We're all going to die. Uh, not not saying I, that, but he's, he's just kind of like I, got a look. He caught her. He caught her. Just glances at that. Looks back over it. Uh, freaking. Oh god. What is Daisuke. your character's name? Daisuke. Yeah. Looks back over at Daisuke and goes, "Told you so." Well, at least they made it. Doesn't look like they made it that well. He he he, he looks he looks back at the kid in green. That's just about to piss himself in total fear, and I'm like. Did he really, though? Well, at uh, least he's alive, that's for sure. Outside of that, there the other two that, that are gathered oh, here, uh, one of them is one of the uh, individuals who, like, Kazu was meditating at the start of the... Um, <laughs> kind of... At, at the start of the selection. Uh, he is wearing this kind of, like, dull gray Howery with silver trim. Uh, and it has uh, a crescent moon on the back of it. Uh, he's kind of got his hair tied back up in like a ponytail. Uh, he just kind of looks more like a traditional style swordsman. Uh, and then the other person that you see hanging in there is one of the shinobi uh, that you all saw when you first arrived. This one is the one that had more spiked armor. And he kind of just like looks over at Reikoku, and as he sees that Reikoku uh, has survived just in the amount, he just goes Tch! and looks away. Do you know him? Reikoku just kind of like shrugs. <laughs> Look, I—he he just looks at you and he goes, "Full disclosure, I, I have a lot of enemies." Uh, uh, okay. He, he just he just grips you by the shoulders. It's too late now. We're friends. There's no backing out. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, all right, calm down. What? <laughs> it's it, you can it's, it tell that this is less of like, hey, we're don't, just you know like there's you have no choice. This is more of just uh, we are comrades in arms. My enemies are your enemies. <laughs> <laughs> but you can also tell underlying it that he's kind of implying that your enemies are also his. I don't know, man. I ship it. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's get let's get friends. that ship let's get that ship name started. Yeah. No. <laughs> Reikoku and Daisuke. That that is not a ship. That is just like oh hey, I'm your Would buddy. it be would what? it be Dai would it be Daikoku? Yeah, everybody every Reikoku. No, not Raykaru. 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 What Ray did this turn into a it's not, ship? It's not like it's. it's some people say they don't want it. They don't want that ship. They would kill it. <laughs> Stormy <laughs> waters. Stormy <laughs> waters. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daikoku. That's beautiful. The that DM has know. said it. The DM has said it. It's a. <laughs> not part of that. God damn it, Walker. <laughs> Stormy, no, Stormy it's waters. A, it's, a fire. it's not official. It's not my character. I can't make that decision. Yeah, it's not official. There we go, it's guys. Official. It's fine. Uh, on that note, can tell it's non-canon. Sorry, love guys. That. I just love that story. Uh, it, it's waters. like a Dragon Ball Z movie, non-canon. I, I don't care who. I don't care who. But at some point, we have to find another female Thunder user so we can start that ship name. Stormy Waters is amazing. Uh, on that note, uh, you all hear the Suzumi one more time, less loud than before, uh, as the three uh siblings that first welcomed you into final selection uh are now presented before you and they look over the, your group and go congratulations to the eight of you who have passed this year's final selection we understand that the trial to become a demon slayer is not easy and this is merely but the first step in a longer journey we hope that all of you will take this journey with us and see where it will lead we wish you the best in reaching the top. And 
all is not for uh all is you know not for i can't say not for not that just kind of sounds stupid um all is not for nothing i don't know fuck there's no way to phrase it well um they step aside and on the table behind them you see uh this assemblage of ore uh and they look over all of you and go you will now choose the ore for your for your Mitridan blade as well as receive your uniforms your official demon slayer uniforms where's my bird uh and as you ask that one of them laughs i'm actually gonna go ahead and kill the music for a quick second uh yeah, one of them... i was like this is this is really like not good atmospheric music for the scene <laughs> no we need like yeah. intense music i i will uh, talk it... you know what you know what walker you and i need to have a talk with calvin yes we do we're gonna uh, i'm gonna see if calvin would be willing to compose some music specifically for this campaign that would be great yeah. actually um on that note, uh, one of them chuckles as you kind of make, uh, they gesture and they go, in older traditions, the, the Katasu Crow was used, uh, but as we have evolved our methods um, and adapted to the current changing times, we have found that it is best to bring a variety of companions. Uh, and so as they say that you watch as not a not a crow but a raven flies down and lands he just kind of looks at it as it looks at him and goes uh ray koku's shoulder oh okay so instead of a crow he gets a, a, a raven lands on him and he goes uh and it goes good morning the time is 8 a.m and he oh just my god looks at you the got raven the raven like, app and he I'm just looks at the raven like so confused. I'm gonna like cover my mouth and just try not to laugh because it reminds her like of the book that she was reading. OOC, OOC, real quick. Can I just say that when he said the raven landed on him and opened his mouth, I was like, please say nevermore. Please say nevermore. <laughs> <laughs> as it finishes saying 8 a.m., it suddenly chimes in as well. Nevermore? God damn it, yes! I'm going to have it end its sentences like that. As kind never of like, more, never more. Kind of, like, kind of like how Naruto ends some of his sentences with Dr. Bio. Bio. Yeah, exactly. Potter Dr. Bio. Potter Bar. Potter Bar. As you all kind of like look out, uh, a variety of different things kind of begin to flock to the scene. Um, on the Shinobi with the armor, uh, a traditional crow does land with him. Uh, on the dude who has the green haori with the uh, emblazoned emblem of a tree, uh, you watch as a falcon actually lands on his shoulder. Um, Lucky bastard. For <laughs> the individual with the silver haori with the uh, emblem of the moon... God, I'm trying to think of birds! Birds! Uh, a blue jay lands on uh, his finger. Uh, as the rest of you await your your birds, uh, Kazu, uh, a a bird flies down and lands on uh your shoulder, and you look over and see that it is. <sighs> God damn it! I'm trying to think of birds. What birds. Are about birds. Just look up. Just look up a list. Of, Did you know uh... that Raven and I were cursed to be birds? Birds, <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> oh, just yeah. pull up a list of birds. Yeah. Bird, 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 the word. But, 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 but. Somebody said sparrow. Some people said pigeon. I, I think like, Doug, I would have got a it. Shit. Uh, okay. An African swallow or a European swallow? Uh, a hawk lands on your shoulder. On whose? Uh, Kazu's. All right, careful. Cool. That's heavy. His name is Richard. <laughs> you, you can get to name my bird. A hawk lands. As, a hawk lands as, on as, your as, shoulder, as, and his name is Veldora. As as, as the player hawk <laughs> just suddenly appears on your shoulder, wearing a Bob Ross cosplay. Yes. <laughs> he's like, no, Hello, I mean man. that is something. He just looks. Though. He just he just come over. And he's like, 
And now we're going to paint some happy little trees. Uh, I don't have the strength mod modifier to hold this. So. <laughs> uh, whereas uh, for Daisuke, a dove lands on your shoulder. Oh. Uh, for because you're worth it. Hikaru. I have to make a dexterity save as a tiger pounces on my shoulder? Uh, as a tiger cub as a tiger cub just pounces on my shoulder yeah uh, a eagle lands on your shoulder I mean my first guess would have been griffin it's because I'm We're... bald isn't it you racist bastard oh, 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 oh. <laughs> how is that racist well I actually know it's because eagles symbolically represent power hell yeah All right, so uh, I, I'm strong for... but smell isn't everything for Otsuko uh let me see. Here. A puppy. She An gets owl. Oh. Out of all of us, she's the one that gets the Harry Potter treatment. Yeah. <laughs> His name is Hedwig, and you will call him such. I will name him Hedwig. There we go. Thank you. Hedwig. And as as you all receive your birds, uh, they begin. Many members of the Kokushibo begin passing out your uniforms, uh, oh, which, yeah. as you receive these uniforms, you notice that the, the, the fabric is very durable. It is not like your your pseudo uniform, uh, Dice uh, Otsuko. These are much sturdier than what you have. They hand me they hand me the uniform. They hand me the uniform. I look at it. I immediately throw the shirt to the side. Uh, Reikoku kind of does a similar thing. Like, they hand him the uniform, he puts the jacket on, kind of looks at it, and, like, kind of marvels at it. It's like, ah. Oh. And you just watch as he rips the sleeves off simultaneously. <laughs> yeah, I was like, that was going to be the other thing that I do either. I'm like, like, yeah, I... It's it's more like, Richie's haunted? Thanks. Uh, no, it's the moon. I'm not the moon. Uh... Are on that sure note, they, they the gesture moon? to your uh, to the Nichiren ore, and they go, Now we have gathered a variety of different pieces for you to choose from this year. Please select your ore. Okay. Uh, about that. <laughs> uh, how would I go about sensing, like, with... Would it be, like, vibrations Excellent or question. something? Would it be vibrations uh, or something? Like, how would that... And would I have to roll for this? I will leave... You would de definitely have to roll for this. This will be a perception check. Okay. I will leave the flavor text of it up to you, whether you want to kind of like just move your hand from, from one to one to kind of like feel it, if you want to kind of just get close to the ore and just like be like, which one has the best presence? Or if you want to like tap the table to feel the vibrations of the purity of the metal. Ooh, no, no, I like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to flick the table. I'm going to have one hand on the table, and with the other hand, I'm going to flick the table. What is my perception bonus? Is, do I have a perception uh, With bonus? touch, you just get advantage. Uh, oh, it I would get be advantage. A wisdom, yeah, it would be a wisdom stat. Okay. Uh, then in that case, shit, what did I roll earlier? Okay, yeah. I'm just trying to remember what I rolled before I roll again. Okay. Uh, okay, so it's it's just a straight wisdom, you said? Yes. What is my wisdom modifier then? Plus one. Plus one. Okay, so I rolled a fourteen and a seventeen then. Uh, then that's an eighteen. No, um, no, 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 no. A fourteen and a seventeen with my plus one mod. I rolled a thirteen oh, okay. and so a then, sixteen. Then... I rolled gotcha. a seventeen uh, total. With the seventeen, you kind of get a sense for the table uh, as you place your hand on it, and then as you flick the table, uh, you almost kind of like a. I break the table. <laughs> I was, I was gonna say, yeah, it is almost like a dousing rod. Yeah, almost like a dousing rod. It, you just kind of feel the this uh, sensation as the ore that draws you most is the fifth one on the top right. I pick it up. I look at it. I hand it to them. Uh, this one. Uh, they. Uh, take it and they put it in a box that actually has the character's for name on it. Sweet. And they turn to the rest of you and just kind of like gesture to the table. Okay, he's gonna walk up and gr grab each one and shake it. 
<laughs> just listen. I'm just imagining he's like gripping his chin, like, hmm, as he's like shaking it next to his ear, like, like a kid opening a Christmas present. You break. The yeah, kind of. Um. You. All right, roll me a perception. Oh, you asshole. <laughs> It's the uh, first so good roll I've got. Using advantage with your your not not you use. not you no no no. Um. All right, fuck whoever said that. Said I don't know. What? I don't know which one. I don't know which one. But I love you. But I also hate you. It's like uh, Spider said. I ship Richie and his ego, and then Fat Dog Studio. Fat Dog said, "Truly, it was meant to be." To be. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Bet you was chibi. You can go to hell. Oh All of you can. No, I don't. I don't think it's chibi. I don't think it would be. Chibi. Uh, on that note, uh, you you shake a couple of them the and they all have very pure sounds, but there's only one that just kind of like, as you shake it, like the sound you get from it is almost like a very clear temple bell. Shake it off. Shake it off. It just kind of resonates with you. I'm pointing at them. Mine. Uh, they put it in a box with your name on it. Didn't see your name on it. <laughs> uh, with this, uh, it must be. you watch as the guy with the, um, moon howry walks up, and this guy is, like, a very dignified... You watch him kind of, like, look over all the oars, and just kind of, like peer at them with a lot of intensity before grabbing one from the far left, licking it, and handing it to them. <laughs> oh, oh, I, I should have said I should have said that when I walked back, I, I uh when it when I walked back oh. after choosing my ore, I stood next to Otsko. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, out of character. When he, as soon as he licks it, you know how in the anime the, the chubby size they have the weird eyes. Yeah. Like the blank look. Yeah, yeah, that's what happens. The, to the blank look, weird eyes. Everyone just like, huh? Well, <laughs> they are. They are. What? Uh, he's he's licking it to claim it as his own. I understood that. Um, and he kind of like nods to them, and they nod back at him, and he just walks back to the group. Okay, uh, Nice. <laughs> licking things to claim them as your own. Well, I mean, he didn't lick like he didn't like s complete surface lick. He just gave it like a lick and handed it. He's like, "Yep, tastes pretty salty. This is mine." Salty boy. Ray Koku in the darkness, the truest of shit. Uh, am I the last one to go? Uh, you and Raikoku and Daisuke haven't gone. Why are you... <laughs> <laughs> Salty Rick! Yes, that's the best! <laughs> Why are you licking me in all caps? <laughs> because you're just so salty. Maybe he's sodium deficient. Uh, so wait, on... you haven't gone Raikoku and... Is that what I heard? On, on that note, Raikoku actually walks towards the table. Oh. Without even looking, you watch as he kind of like moves his hand over the table and just grabs one at the very top of the table and just mine. And they put it in oh. a box with his name on it. Great. So now uh, it's just Atsuko and Daisuke. Uh, I'll go. Yeah, uh, Daisuke, you, you go next. <laughs> I'm going to do a perception check. I believe uh, if I'm using my empathy, I should have advantage, correct? Yes. You feel that that's wrong? For, 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 yeah, for insight, uh, you would, but you still got a 19 on the first roll, so that's we're going to use that. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't hear the sound. So it's delayed a little bit on my end. No, you're good. Um... As you kind of walk over to the table, um, you look over each of the ore, and there's only one of them that you like. You can, as you kind of like over it, you get a feel for 
each of the miners that was uh like mining this ore out and there's only one who you get a sense was just like very passionate about getting the purest ore he could this one and I'll uh, hand it. and they take it and they put it in a box with your name on it And as you walk away from the table, the ninja is up. Is he cutting out, or is that just me? Uh, I am cutting out a bit. Yeah, my Discord's having a having a fit. Discord, stop being a dick and let him speak. Let me talk. Let me uh, speak. Anyways. The ninja walks up to the table. He kind of looks over all of them before grabbing one towards the bottom of the table and just handing it to them. He was, he was the opposite. <laughs> he went for the opposite of his nemesis, apparently. Yeah, uh, more or less. Yeah, he went diametrically, like, opposite. Uh, it, it literally grabbed from the complete opposite end of the table, like, vertically and everything. Um, and then it's down to Atsuko and the guy in the green Haori. Okay, so I'm just gonna go walk up there and just look at them, like, carefully. And she's slightly confused. She's like, I'm not sure which one's the right one for me. So she's just going to, of course, inhale and then exhale and close her eyes and, like, carefully, barely even touching them, go, like, one by one. Okay. So, I guess... Are you, are you using your, your senses or are you just... My senses, yes. Barely so. even touching it. She's stroking barely. the rock. No, okay. I'm just like, it's just like barely even touching it. It's like, She's I'm not touching the... you. I'm not that type, you know. Let Hikaru okay. pick for her. <laughs> <laughs> She's her own woman. Oh, woman, I can pick my own. Thank you. I can pick, pick my own rock. rock. I get it's more of a, rock. it's, it's, I think Hikaru's being more of a gentleman by letting her do her own thing. Exactly. Stranger danger. That's my rock. I don't know you. <laughs> I don't know. Many ships in the... <laughs> Too many ships. <laughs> oh my god, real spider phantom. There are plenty of lost ships in the Bermuda Triangle. Oh god. Uh, so rocks. All right. So, rocks uh, are yeah. rocks. Rocks are so, rocks. Why would they check? change rocks? <laughs> uh, no, Yoshimi, I agree. She's playing Duck Duck Goose with ore. No. <laughs> Uh, you find, as you're kind of, like, your hands hovering over it, like, you, like, take a few different inhales to kind of, like, get a sense of it. Uh, and there's only one rock that has this very, uh, iron-centric scent. It almost smells kind of like the consistency of blood, but it doesn't have, like, the extra stuff that kind of makes blood have that sour scent. So she slightly smiles a little bit and opens her eyes and she points, like she touches that one. And she goes, I want that one. I would like to have this one, though. please. Uh, okay. And they pick it up and put it in a box with your name on it. And as they are all like, well, it has been an excellent year. Uh, we look forward to all of your accomplishment. Like the guy in the green hallway, like slowly raises his hand. And he's like, I, I haven't picked my, my or yet. And they no kind of like stop. Steve. <laughs> they kind of just stop and like gesture uh. to the table. And he just kind of walks up and just picks one right in the middle and hands it to them. And they put it in a box with his name on it. Oh my God. And then they just look at you and go, uh, you all may, at your leisure, uh, return to where you trained in order to await the forging of your blades and test out your uniforms. Uh, additionally, we do have an offer for... And they look at the five of you, and they go, the five of you. Oh. You are the only team that has returned intact with all its members. So, we offer you a different choice. You may return to 
your cultivators and await further instruction, or you may go ahead and report immediately to the city of Fujinosai, where you will be assigned your next mission. The ore will be sent to the blacksmiths, and when you arrive in Fujinosai, it will be waiting for you. Okay. Hikaru asks them to point which way the city is. <laughs> they look at you very confused. Which way is the and city? And they point down the city to the northwest. That's the direction the he starts sorry. walking in. Okay. Atsuko will follow him. Uh, Reiko yeah, follows Atsuko. Atsuko. Didn't we just talk about... Oh, whatever. Yes, we'll accept. He didn't make the decision as a group. He just made the decision for himself. You guys don't have to tag along. It's better if we do tag along. (laughs) Stay. Come back next week when Fel has a new character. (laughs) Because he just didn't want to come with. No, no, no. I agreed. No, Uh, I'm just messing. I'm just messing. (laughs) Kazu, did you want to go with the group? Nah, no, I'm just kidding. Hmm. Wait, which one? Starts, which one, which one is Mr. Darkness? Me. Which one is Mr. Darkness? Uh, Ray Koku. Okay. Ray Koku's just gonna pop. Up. He's he just he's just standing there. He's just standing there. He caught her turds, points at him. One of us. He gives you the the Kona Suba thumbs up. <laughs> I give him the Kona Suba thumbs up right back. Yee. <laughs> <laughs> now we're awkward funny. as hell with each other because because he got her has no idea what that means he's just like word <laughs> you know? he got coco he got Kroger. Oh. <laughs> one of us one, one of us. us all right I, I see, would it be funny if i see mr darkness like as cows just trying to leave just grab him and drag him <laughs> Like no, he's like no. <laughs> Too late, you know about me. He's like, he's like, he grabs, he grabs the the ninja dude grabs Mister Darkness. Is like no, you can't go with them. <laughs> I was more picturing. Clearly, they are a bad influence on you. <laughs> I, I said I could see the other way. The darkness grabs Ka- uh, Kazu and like nope, you're too late. You know about me. You have to stay with us. <laughs> you now. have to stay. <laughs> but the darkness, but the, but but the darkness has finally accepted me as one of their own. <laughs> and I'm afraid if I move, if I leave. <laughs> oh, you're that's our beautiful. Darkness now you're our darkness now. You should probably come with us, though. There are dark times ahead. Uh, go alone. Take this. Take this. Dangerous to go. go alone. Take the shadow. Oh, oh, that is not a phrase that should ever be uttered around Hikaru. He might have ideas. <laughs> <laughs> like his whole thing is, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. Sucker punches him in the face. Like... <laughs> be sure to deliver that to the next guy. <laughs> yeah, pass it on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so. Now we actually come to uh, a choice that I will give y'all because uh, we've been running for a bit of time. Uh, but if y'all would like to go ahead and head to Fujinosai now and continue, we can do that. If you would prefer to end the session here, I think we, we should those. come back. I think we should come back to it next week. This is a good stopping point. I feel. Oh yeah. 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 All right, and with that, that, that way, it gives Hawk a chance. Yes. Give Hawk a chance, yeah. people. Uh, with that, as the group heads out uh, for Fujinosai along along the road, uh, the party is in I, I guess high spirits. You kind of just aced the fucking tests like no problem. What color is my hawk or my eagle? Sorry, what color is my eagle? Uh, your eagle is it's kind of like a standard. Um... You know there are it's, no it's, eagles it's, in Japan it's, though, it's, right? It's, it's, what? You know there are no eagles in Japan, though, right? This is an alternate. That's alternate important. Alternate timeline. Did you not understand? <laughs> yeah. Okay. My uh, eagle. My eagle is black. My ego is like blackish brown, and his name is Obama. I heard. I didn't hear eagle. I heard ego. <laughs> I heard ego. <laughs> I heard ego. <laughs> so uh, I was, my my ego. My ego was from the ghetto, and no. <laughs> I was. That's I was horrible. gonna go with like just. 
No, kind my of normal. Yeah, what color is my, color my lovely brown. owl? Okay, just, uh, uh, yeah. just snowy white. <coughs> Whoa! Okay. Told it's you, it's Hedwig. It's, it's, Hedwig. It's, 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 like a, it, Hedwig. it's like a barn owl. Yeah. Hedwig. Yeah. Um, All right. Uh, I'll think of a name for my. I'll think of an actual name for my eagle as time goes on. Oh, but I hereby oh, declare okay. that the hawk's name is Veldora, <laughs> and I will accept no other substitutes. Well, too bad you don't have to accept it. <laughs> I'm not naming it that. Get uh, off my channel! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> As you all venture south, uh, we kind of pan out as the... You should name your hawk Richard. As your group kind of walks into the, not sunset, but sunrise as a new chapter unfolds in the land of the rising sun. Um, and as this group of merry adventurers travels forth, uh, looking forward to their new indoctrinated role in the demon slaying organization and being able to better put their talents to use for the service um we kind of like i said pan out across the mountain and settle back on the scene of the cabin this place that has been transformed by these five individuals into something that it wasn't once before uh no longer kind of bears that grim dark look but as we approach there um Treading through the trees with an umbrella is a single individual that just approaches this cabin and looks over the area and takes a deep inhale, smelling the ashes of fallen demons, and just looks over at the cabin full of relics. And as they approach, they look over this area that has been recently disturbed by new life and take another deep scent gaining the scent of these five individuals and looks at this room of relics before looking over to a raven of their own and saying, huh, so this place has been cleansed. Good. I don't like the foul stink that was here before. Inform the master that... We'll need to move the reliquary. And that this generation will be interesting. And as we kind of pan out, the individual turns around to see flies. Upper Moon One. And that's where we're going to end tonight's session. Can we have an ending? I ship it. <laughs> I ship it. Upper like moon one like cabin. I, I, I know. Like we... Here's the fun. Here's the funniest thing, right? We were like, we were we were in this cabin. We got freaking uh, what's his name? Uh, Rengoku. And then you were talking about everybody was getting sleepy and shit. I was like, oh god damn it, we're gonna be headed for a train, aren't we? That was okay, my... Richie's train Twitter. arc. Oh, hey, train Richie's arc. Twitter notifications. Oh hey Twitter. Yeah. Oh hey Twitter. Twitter. Oh, hey, Twitter. Hey, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. On that birdie, note, birdie, uh, birdie, I have birdie. been your Dungeon Master. See, it has been an absolute pleasure <laughs> having you all here <laughs> to get to witness part two of the Cinnamon Bun stream, uh, where we have finally finished final selection. And hopefully next time we'll get to a little bit of, uh, more, you'll get kind of an insight into the differences in the Demon Slayer organization from the show and what we have here in the, in the game. Uh, and kind of get a little bit of flair for some NPCs. Get to meet some people that aren't, you know, demons or people who are destined to die. Whoa! That's people every are person destined to die! <laughs> wait, you're saying, wait, wait. You're saying we're going to meet immortals? Sure. Yes! Nezuko! Okay. Every Nezuko. person is destined to die unless they are immortal. Uh, anyway... I've been Walkman EXE. Joining me are my amazing players. That was it. Rip. Okay. I'll, 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 hold on. Uh, there was a thing I just remembered I needed to talk to you about. Uh, also, also after stream besides the other thing. So everybody remember to remind him about the after stream thing. Yeah, multiple tweets. Multiple, well, multiple posts. Multiple oh, Enter God. the roll zone can, too. Can we leave my post up the other time on the live stream for like the whole time, please? <laughs> Sure, but uh, 
Walker, you were saying we were going to do an outro for us. I think he was. Trying yes, to... I, I was. Uh, I am joined once again by my amazing players, the Phil VA playing Daisuke Hamasaki. Hello. The Hawk of Bridge currently not here, but always here. Our... Technically, playing technically he's typing to us. Oh, oh. hold on. Yeah, oh dear. Yes, he's typing. Hold on. Hold uh... on. Hold on. Okay, he's he's on he's on he's, he's fifteen. He, hold on, hold on, hold on. He's on his phone. He can answer. He can answer just to say goodbye. Uh, to there's a hands-free law in Georgia. Boo. Yeah, I know it sucks. Uh, uh, it's called Bluetooth, Lady people. <laughs> Lady Sean playing Atsuko Tenryu. Hi. Are you, are you sure it's not the first half of the sweeping? <laughs> <laughs> introducing introducing the sweeping. Bun. I feel like I think I feel like if we go to Japan, I now have to have a sweet bean bun. Just, <laughs> like if I go to Japan, that has to be a thing. And I'm like, I have to live stream. I have to live stream myself having a sweet bean bun. This is a See, thing. What's apparently, gonna be great is if I go to Japan before Richie, I'm just gonna take a bunch of pictures of sweeping buns. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweet them out. I'm gonna post them. I'm gonna post them on the fucking studio announcements page on Fat Dog Discord. <laughs> See, and, and my my caption for it is gonna be "See, fell ships it." <laughs> <laughs> Finally, something oh he can God. agree on. Oh, wow. All right, Vexital24 playing Kazutenshi. Yo. And Richie Roberts playing Hikaru Fujiwara. The other half of the cinnamon bun. <laughs> the cinnamon bun. The cinnamon the sweet, the sweet bean, bean bun, bun. Whatever. The, sweet be the other half of the sweet bean and bun. And we are the Team Cinnabon. <laughs> we yeah! are Team Cinnabon. Cinnabon, send us money. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I, well, I, or at least discounts. At least discounts. Or a coupon. I just like one coupon. I mean, just uh, send us a free Cinnabon. That's a, that's what I'm really. Somebody said Hashtag. Hashtag... Oh, go for it. No, Hashtag Cinnabon Cinnabon caused her to. No, I did not. Hashtag okay. If it wasn't because of her hitting Richie's character, the ship wouldn't exist. My anymore. thing is, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It, it, at the end of the day, all's well that ends well. I am. I was lovingly bandaged. Secretly, secretly, anything. secretly, lovingly bandaged. It's, it's not so secretly. It's kind of like out of all the people that could have bandaged him, it was it's pretty obvious. And since it, uh, since he bandaging. wasn't, since he didn't wake up, it, it had to be like there there had to be like a certain deafness to actually what happened. It required a softer touch, which let's face it, none of these other losers could have done. All, all, all he did was he woke up with it. He's like, the fuck is this? <laughs> he doesn't know who it was. The fuck? The fuck? The fuck is in the air? The fuck? There's white shit everywhere. Right. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, I have been Walkman XC. It has been a pleasure having you at Dungeons and Demon Slaying. We will see you in the next episode. Thank you, everybody, for your donations. And Salty Rick, we promise next time nobody will lick you. I promise nothing. <laughs>